What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of uh, Flagrant 2 No Easy Buckets Analysis by Assholes Water Cooler Commentary for Your Sports Needs. I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm here with Akash Singh, Real Life Kaz. You. Uh, our guest, F.A. in the building in the back. Okay. We got Alex Media and Eden in the building. All right. Yes, Too many people to introduce. We don't introduce <clears throat> these many people anymore. But real quick announcement before we start. Some late breaking news. Um, it has just been... I guess brought to people's attention that R. Kelly fucks kids. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm I, shocked, dude. I'm shocked. I could not. Like to the. I, it they? seems in the last couple days, okay. the world has somehow put together <laughs> the mystery that is: Does R. Kelly fuck kids? Now, hold on, hold before, on. Before I I'm blown away. Crazy. These, these are revelations that exist. This, this doesn't Akash. sound like the R. Kelly I know. I know. <laughs> I'm I shocked. Know, I know. I, okay. I know just, an R. Kelly that produced a whole album called AJ Nothing But a Number yeah. for a 15 year old girl. That's yeah. the type of R. Kelly I knew. That doesn't I, sound like the. R. I Kelly. didn't even know. What that was referring to. I just I, thought that meant. I thought it was a metaphor. I thought it was Me like too. a sports metaphor. I I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm aware. You can play late without I'm, thinking about retirement. I'm aware. AJ, nothing but a number. Yeah. Muhammad yeah. Ali, nothing come back. I, I thought, Dude. like. You know, Michael Jordan, come back. Tom AJ, Brady. nothing but a number. Tom Brady's still out there, 41 years old. TB12 method. That's what I thought I AJ, thought AJ thought it was, about. Number was. I thought he wrote it, a song about Tom in the future before Tom ever achieved these goals. I That's really where I thought it was very meta. Flabbergasted. I know. I know. This is, this is. I need a minute. I, listen, I a minute. we this can is, all take a minute. A we to... can keep it going. It, it's something that wow. I'm sure there's a lot of listeners right now, and mm. you're absolutely heartbroken. Like, because I remember when the sex tape came out where he was uh, having sex with a 15 year old girl. Yeah, peed on her. And I thought she was 51. No, 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 no. Not, 15. not 51. Not oh my girl. god. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. 15 year old girl. It was mm. a 15 year old girl. Yes. Right. And um, oh, he wow. was. He was in a, engaged in a sex tape on video with a 15 year old girl. I remember this, yeah. right? You remember that, yeah, right? It was a yellow room, I think. A little sauna looking I, thing. I, I, for, I forget the exact colors of the this. room. Yeah. But, <laughs> and, hey, and you know, I, I remember that that happened. I think a lot of people remember that that happened. Yeah. Now, I don't know where, how they jumped, to, people jumped to conclusions. How do you jump from the conclusion of have sex with a 15 year old girl on video? And you're into little girls. I don't know how people just jump so and where, make that where connection. Where did these accusations come from? I am I've what, never what heard I'm of anything is, like this. What I'm saying is, how do how does the average person just make that jump? I'm I don't not know. sure. Well, they must I have mean, had. If I, you, if I knew somebody who made a song with a teenage girl called "Age and Nothing But a Number," and then several years later was on tape having sex. With a fifteen-year-old woman, you would never that doesn't think, necessarily how mean. How could those correlate? You know, like, like it's uh, since like, when is two plus crazy. two equal five? Oh my god! Crazy. <laughs> it's like it would take a master detective, and that's Absolutely. really what Twitter is—a yeah. masterful my detective gosh. to put all these data points together, crunch them. Like you know how like Round Facebook. Applause. Round of applause to the. To Honestly, that, to we really mark. should thank Twitter for Honestly. putting this together because yeah. today yeah. and yesterday they've really noticed what it was, thank and Twitter. there's no thank possible you, way that they could have noticed it beforehand. No. But uh, not at all. There's no. no. Poss- it's not like there's any evidence out there. You know how like when you're talking to your friends or texting about shit, yeah. and then all of a sudden. Like you're texting about how you need some paper towels, and then all of a sudden, like a paper towel ad will pop up on your yes. Instagram. <laughs> yeah, like this is that type of data analysis. That revelation. It's just... unfucking belief, dude. Gosh. All well, I'm trying to say I hope is they catch that guy. I really I do. Yeah, I really do. I'm pretty sure. But thank God that that after all these years and. And this microscopic evidence to point towards this guy being a, a true life pedophile. Well, that's only one person who said that, right? It's like one or two people. You know what? I think it's maybe one or, or maybe there was more than that. Maybe, maybe there was like, many, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I think, look, maybe there was like 20 or 30 people that came out. Maybe. Maybe, 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 it, was, maybe it was his ex-wife. I bet this. Maybe. maybe it was his ex-wife. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it was like his manager's daughter. Maybe it was his brother. Maybe, maybe it was his brother also. <laughs> maybe, so. who, yeah. wait, who else could it possibly have been? Maybe, I don't know. But 
maybe it was okay, like just because your brother said something in his circle. Listen. Like maybe like his entire circle. Just maybe, because just because yeah. several women and your ex wife and your brother and your tour and manager your, too. I and guess your music teacher. Yeah, but how long do those people? Teacher. How long yeah. do those people really know you? Like, does family really know you? Does right. your wife really know you? Right, right. That's you know what I mean? That's just like a just like a guy could be a catfish on Facebook. Same same level of familiarity. And I saw that tape, right? You know. I actually didn't. That look, that, you know, there's plenty of people <laughs> who have uh, gold records hanging behind them while they're having sex with with underage. Like, who who amongst us hasn't produced a gold album and then videotaped I, I think themselves? what you're trying to say is it could have really been anybody. It could have been like, anyone. It could have been anybody. Been like, anybody. Like, like, it's crazy. Okay, so, so I'm supposed to I understand. And again, I'm so... I mean, just baffled. I mean, by, we're, by still, the we're still work. gathering the information. We're still gathering the information, but I'm know. so baffled yeah. by Twitter's ability right here. When when mm-hmm. you really think about it, to to let's see what they really put together. Let's just let these little shreds of evidence. Okay. We have a sex tape. Okay, okay. a sex tape. Okay, who, okay, well, okay. Who amongst us? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, sex tape. Literally, so what is visual evidence? Everybody really? like that he's ever worked with. Yeah, that's. Someone's opinion. Hearsay. Yeah. Who hasn't yeah. worked with somebody? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was the marriage license to Aaliyah that was forged that when making her seem she was 18, but when she was really 15. And Who honestly, who doesn't fake a marriage? <laughs> Listen, if you have a friend who hasn't faked a marriage in their life, is they real? Are they really your friend? Listen. Oh, As no. a proud son of an immigrant that got married to stay here mm-hmm. <laughs> to my father, I know something about fake marriages, okay? Well done, Mom. Good job. Good I'm job. sure the so thing good. that like cinched it for everybody, that made everybody realize this on Twitter, yeah, yeah, was yeah. like a really credible source, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. right. like a really credible news network, like maybe Walter Cronkite came back right. from the dead Probably. and delivered right. it. Probably, right? Yeah. It wasn't like... Like lifetime or right, something like right, you know right. I mean flimsy ass network mm-hmm. like that that mm-hmm. would you know I don't know man I don't know. I'm sure they get the news from trustworthy sources is all I'm saying listen I think Akash is playing a different game than Kaz and I are playing yeah, like, <laughs> I don't think he gets the game that we're playing oh my god <laughs> you're like I don't know what that's you're what playing. Trying to say, dude. So the game that we're playing. I get it. I wanted to force it in there a bit. I want to see if I can fit it. I tried to like. So we're clear here. I tried to move past. I was like, I was looking. I was like, I don't think you catch it. So I I leaned into Kaz because like, okay, I think Kaz gets the game because Akash kept coming with the opposite (laughs) comedic game. Like Kaz and I were playing the game of like we were going. This evidence isn't really real evidence, even though we we know it's evidence. Yeah, we're pretending like. Concrete evidence wasn't, and then you were playing the game like I don't think he did it. <laughs> like, like, like we were going, we were saying clearly we were, he did yeah, it. Obviously he did it, and you were doing the I don't think he did it game. And I'm trying to like and I was keep like, this these is things. Go too far. Let's stop. Let's stop. Yo, yo, oh God, stop. it's all good. It's I didn't get it either. I didn't get it either. No, no, no. I, I was trying to. Because I, think, I was trying to add the point that like there's a fucking sex tape, and now Lifetime says it, and all of a sudden we're like. Like, oh, this is this nah, is the thing. I mean, that's, well, that's, that's what that's I was trying to. We were so, the game, so, just so I was trying to figure game. out how to get that point in because that's something I that's been blowing my mind is like right, right, right. So I tried to jam a point in there and it didn't work. <laughs> but right, right. So. but I think that you were thinking <laughs> the game fair, guys, was. To be yeah, fair, guys, yeah. Akash didn't see the docket. He didn't see the the, the mini series yet. No, right, right, I'm not. Right. I don't watch we're Lifetime, tr- guys. I'm not. I'm not gay. And fucking watching Lifetime. Are you? Are you not? This is the first time you said you're not gay. So. This is, and that is fair. Mm. If you didn't see the documentary, there's probably no way you could think he's a pedophile. <laughs> no, no evidence exists. If, if, I mean, like, here's the thing. <laughs> now we're all in the same game. Okay, go. Continue. Who the game. amongst us hasn't had a six part documentary series during, like, the most. Um, uh, the 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 biggest TV watching period of the year. Can I can I just say one thing you about know what that? Cast one thing just real quick. Um, I noticed this. I noticed today while watching this alleged documentary mm. that I'm sure plenty of people have had documentaries. Obviously, yeah. but um, I've had a documentary. Everybody's had a documentary. Yeah. Who hasn't had a documentary? So I noticed that it was season one. Mm. Okay. See, it's all about cliffhangers. When sweeps come in. That's, to me, 
what really solidified that R. Kelly might be a pedophile. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. And Just maybe. It's because <laughs> the production team was so sure of it. They're like, guys, this is just season one. <laughs> like, this is going to keep going for a while. It ain't going to stop with season one. Not even I mean, a series if the that. dude was peeing on chicks and having sex with them on camera oh and he still God. got off, God. y'all really think a little mini series is going to stop it? No. Here's the thing, right? The fucking. R. Kelly is Sasquatch. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a fucking monster. He's the. <sighs> It would be enough to fucking get away with the fucking first time you go on trial and you pay off your former protege's niece who you peed on on camera to make sure they don't testify against you. Right. So the money train can keep going and you still have like mind control over this person because she's fucking 13. She doesn't know. Right. There's no left from right yet. Right. Yeah. The fucking sex cult shit. Yeah, I didn't get that. That's so don't, don't, sh- don't ruin it. No spoilers, please. Uh, no, oh, God. God. <laughs> it's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, so it no is no for you. No spoilers, please. please, please. Oh, I'm just at the beginning where he's, <laughs> he's sleeping with Aaliyah and oh clearly God. doing it. The worst this part is, about that shit is like the first part. Like the first No, the worst part, part about it is nobody in his family has teeth. How is this guy <laughs> literally the king of R&B? The king of R and B and every one of his family members is missing teeth. Yeah, you wow. haven't seen the the. I had, I watched four minutes on Twitter. One of the, <laughs> one of his brothers in jail, which is hilarious <laughs> when you think about it. That his brother's like, how the fuck <laughs> and he has of the- all the brothers in the Kelly family? Am I the one doing the interview from prison? Oh, man. Why am I? And he had the textbook, like, striped jumpsuit, <laughs> like, from Looney Tunes. Yeah, like, he was the I fucking... I didn't know he really made those. I cookie thought those were cartoons. What's the, what's the guy who steals the cookies from McDonald's? Uh, the Hamburglar? Oh. Hamburglar. Oh, yeah, he, he don't steal the cookies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck steals hamburgers? It's a dollar menu, son. Like, yo, you notice they got that motherfucker out of there once they became a dollar, right? How broke was the Hamburglar? <laughs> that motherfucker no, Hamburglar even... was a broke boy, though. <laughs> Son, he was so broke. Raise a dollar, B. You're right there. His right? appetite was insatiable, dog. He needed mad hammers. No, I was in- uh, appetite was insatiable. How you go? How you- <laughs> <laughs> Kaz going in. When Kaz's face is blocked by the color. Right? First of all, Kaz's identity try, is completely I was going to try this episode the whole time without even fucking mentioning the mask. Just, oh, my bad. I, I ruined it for you. <laughs> no, you got no, the mask. No, a, we're, we're ruined now. He Kodak okay, black right. in it, son. Surprise. Nose was bad. Beads of sweat <laughs> dripping on that shit. I was wondering how long you would go. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I mean, on a serious note, uh, the shit that really pissed me off about that whole documentary, there were several things that pissed me off about Real that. quick, I'm sorry if you guys haven't watched the documentary, R. Kelly me neither. is a pedophile. Yeah. So that's... That's Spoiler it. alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. It's like, yeah. It's like people who didn't want you to ruin Passion of the Christ. Here's the thing. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, I think we know the ending like Titanic. of this movie. How dare you spoil Titanic for me? Like, <laughs> they, they killed we know. Martin Luther King at the end of the movie. <laughs> what? What? How could <laughs> Malcolm X get shot? What? No. <laughs> All jokes aside. Yes. Fantastic television. Oh, they fantastic sold television. it, bro. Oh, my God. I was. At the edge of my seat every night. Fam. I was literally just like, yo, NFL playoffs or R. Kelly right You wild. I didn't even know that <laughs> shit was on, bro. Yo, I didn't even know that shit was on. Like I'm that, telling though. you, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to. This is you only. I saw media tweets. I saw tweets. So you knew it was on. Yeah. But I didn't know when. I, I saw tweets, but I was like, oh, I didn't even think, like, oh, this is a thing that's on. I was like, oh, yeah. R. Kelly's molesting somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dak Prescott <laughs> just scrambled a third and 14 to be draw. Priorities, <laughs> goddammit. I respect the priorities. I'm saying. I compartmentalized much more Listen, shit my entire life. Okay, it's fair that, that both of you could like people who don't take no for an answer. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> when all odds were against both of them, they said, I will get to the finish line <laughs> you know you want people to be determined oh listen this you got everybody should watch the documentary it's just crazy it's just, what i think is so crazy is the outrage about it because, that's what i'm saying it's fucking right. lifetime and now all of a sudden no, no, we're no, no, like no. not that it's lifetime it's the, that 
people are pretending like you. they didn't know this happened. We all I get do. you. And that's and that's the that's everybody. Kind of the, the, the extra layer to me as somebody. You, you have a thing with Lifetime. I know. I just want people that you. There's very credible. There's a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. concrete sex tape out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's here's my thing with that. that right? Yeah, but that, so that's the thing, right? It's like, but I think a lot of people don't realize in this is that Twitter's pretty young. Yeah. So a lot of these people it's, on yeah, Twitter, yeah, when they were eight years old when that sex tape came out. If that, so if I that. didn't even watch the sex tape, but I know a sex tape exists, and right. it's like this is about I, the fifth time you've said you didn't because watch it. y'all watching this, watch y'all watching this kitty porn too much, my friend. Y'all watching now this little kitty porn uh, too much. First I mean, of all, well, first if off, you were a kid, I was a kid. Like, it's it not kitty porn. I check what year that sex tape That's came out. Long long I bet we was over eighteen. I was a teenager. Wouldn't that shit drop? Look up twenty years ago. Look up the IMDb of the R. Kelly sex tape. All right, there's, there's only one thing. There's one thing. Our <laughs> kid's brother got to be tight. He, hold up. What? <laughs> hold up. What? Oh, I'll do this interview. <laughs> how, how excited was he when they asked him to interview? Uh, yeah, I testify. So, on, on some real shit, though, like, yeah. the, the only thing that kind of bothered me about the R. Kelly shit yeah. was obviously we all knew this. Was it molestation? Was, well, yeah. the molestation, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I've been on record. Of saying like, yo, like I separate the art from the artist. Like I, I like I've, I've said this a bunch of times. Like I didn't stop listening to R. Kelly until like two years ago. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I was still very much like, oh well, stepping in the lane of love comes on, I'm a dance or whatever. And like I just didn't think about that shit. Right. The thing that really <laughs> fucked me up about that documentary was how much how much the art was tied to the artist yeah, that yeah. you couldn't separate it. Like the songs that you like these hit records. That he was writing. I believe I can fly. Dog. Fucking you're not alone. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> and you got the Space Jam head on. <laughs> I think about it every night and day. No, no, oh, no, nah. no. We're not doing this. We're not doing wings this. And no. Fly away. No. Mute R. Kelly. Oh. I believe I can soar. Mute R. Kelly. See you running, running through that Kelly. open door. Mute These niggas could sing because <laughs> they don't have the bass to carry them. That's, exactly. why, That's yeah. real fuck the kids. Bass, the <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the people who've been fucking kids God, for some I, reason make great music. Michael Jackson. Wait, oh, you will not believe the justification that that uh, Alex was making. We got into an argument. Earlier, Michael Jackson. Yeah, because Michael Jackson, man. That's what I said to you in the fucking Michael bed, ain't touched didn't them I? kids, bro. Michael so, ain't touched the kids. Michael ain't touched them kids, bro. Michael thought he was. Why a kid. is they Macaulay Culkin so fucking kids, weird, dog? So my bro. brother and I were just talking about Look at this, Andrew. <laughs> but Andrew's successful. How Macaulay Culkin successful at eight? All of a sudden, he's not successful. And you're a he, white dude. He, too early. Okay, he so too early. early. White yeah. people don't peak, fam. According to your the Olsen's black ass around. logic. <laughs> Hold on, Freddie. Let's go, guys. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so this is the discussion we had talking about separating the the, the art from, from the, the artist. artist. Now, yeah. so here's the thing. Regardless, if somebody is okay, music is a visceral reaction, mm -hmm. right? Most music you like, not because of who makes it, but because there's a fucking algorithm that your brain recognizes that sounds good. Yeah. That's why, literally, you can YouTube every rock song has the same three chords. Mm -hmm. You can get a video at four chords. What are they? Find that out for me, Eden. And there's funny, there's videos of these comics that perform, and they go, every rock song plays the same four chords. Mm. And they just play every single fucking famous rock song, pop song over the last 50 years and they're the same four chords. What are they? C, G, A minor, and F. C, G, A minor, and F. I would play the video now, but we'll probably get a license. Yeah, we'll get yeah, a yeah, to it. But yank. I want everybody to watch if you don't believe. So, there is a trick in our brain. There's the reason why the same five people write all the famous pop songs. Okay. Literally the same five people. Yeah. It's just a fucking math problem. R. Kelly knew how to solve that math problem. He could do shit else. There's no doubt. Can't read or write. No, there's <laughs> no doubt that he creates great music that our ears like. Mm. You're not a bad person because somebody has hacked the ear algorithm with music. That's not the question, right? That's not the question. So we're not debating whether the music is good or not. We're debating debating whether we want to continue supporting somebody who makes that music. That's the thing. Those though, are two like, different when, things. When, when you're when you're reading and and watching about like how not only we're complicit. In kind real of quick, like real quick, the dude raped like what twenty girls or like pedophile at least like twenty three girls. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. like 
think about how often they had to listen to the remix of Ignition. Like, <laughs> like, bro, like, literally. That's that's a song that takes a long time to get tired of. Son, bro. No, no, <laughs> that's a song that takes a long time to get it, tired bro. of. I get it. The motherfucker can sing. He's great. So he's my fucking, point is, he's so, one of the greatest so, ever. So there's no. So those things are just. Too, it's like, for example, if we found out <laughs> some <laughs> basketball player that was really Crystal bad. Crystal popping in the Steph Navigator. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, y'all can see y'all. y'all. <laughs> I ain't joining y'all on this one, buddy. <laughs> First of all, why he needed the stretch navigator? If he just had kids. In it. Like, <laughs> I feel like a regular navigator would have been just. <laughs> Fam, the Power Wheels would have been just fine. <laughs> Chris Staff up and hit a first power <laughs> wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the joke is on R. Kelly here. Okay? No, no, Guys, no. the villain of I the just, joke is R. Kelly here, okay? Here's, here's my thing. Okay, uh, <laughs> and, and, and real quick, just to get to what Alex was saying. So, I said to Alex, I go, people have separated, I go, I've separated music from the person doing the fuck shit all the time. We do it all the time with music. Like, there's not a question. F.A. made a great argument we could bring in in a second. But we do it all the time with music. Um, and I go, what about my Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, we all know at the very bare minimum, slept in beds naked with little boys. Alex goes on this fucking diatribe about how Michael Jackson didn't know he was an adult. He, he really didn't. thought he was a kid. Yeah. He did. He did. Look at his fucking house, bro. Yeah. He was So he was why fucking, hold, uh, on. Chappelle, hold on. Let, let our cars talk about this. What well, go go. I'm just going to say it's just odd that you can have give that to Michael Jackson but R Kelly couldn't have been molested as a kid and been fucked up from that and then there's I'm not saying he's a good person but it is odd that there's a lot of sympathy for Mike and what Mike went through which was awful you're saying Mike no can't sympathy help for it, Mike but you're saying R should have been able to help it no I'm saying that what R Kelly did was predatory behavior going after the girls while Michael was just playing just inviting with his, them to his house. Traps. Uh, his just setting traps. Just no, inviting them to his house. Mag- there was nothing the sexual cultures. going on with Mike and the kids. Yeah, Son, they saw his car. He was not doing that. So they described his car. Hey, no, no, that was Hold proven on. to be Hold uh, incorrect. Hold on. That, that was proven to be they incorrect. They said his cock looked like a Bahamian That was proven to be incorrect. That kid came out and said he was lying. That kid said he was lying. Once Mike paid him $10 million. He was dead already. His parent came out and was like, yeah, we fucking lied because they were trying to get money out they got the money and then they had to say he's lying. Yeah, and then he died. They killed him. <laughs> Mike killed the kid, bro. That's you, they No, just, the reason why I can't separate the art bro. from the artist with R. Kelly is because that money, that power that he has directly helps him to to be able to, to still be a free man and still be Teflon from all this Darkness shit. Darkness comes across the land. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that? what is that? What was that from? Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> you made Yo, it you too know English. That shit hits. <laughs> you, his voice is like raspy though. You didn't. I know. His voice is all up. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you said like a fucking... <laughs> Gargoyle or something. <laughs> like, darkness comes across the line. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I thought that shit was going to slap, Mark. No, I, I thought that shit was going to slap. I was should... like, wait till I drop <laughs> this intro song. That shit was like a fart in church, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn. I was like, what was that? That was a rare one. That, that just doesn't happen, Andrew. I respect it. Right, so, <laughs> Beat it comes on. I'm going to hit the dance right now. What? Beat it comes on. I'm going to hit that dance right now. Of course. As you should. As you Yo, should. but can we. Why, as you should. I just, Yo, Michael Jackson the had just wild me. pedophile fucking sounding titles for songs, too. He didn't write it. <laughs> That's true. Son, what you got with Mike? Son, he R. didn't Kelly write his music. Wrote, he you are not the alone. Title? R. Kelly wrote You Are Not Alone to Michael Jackson as a tribute to a pregnant teenager a teenager she got pregnant that had a miscarriage that is fucked up wait a minute wait, 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 wait. that is <laughs> yeah. fucked up hold on yeah. hold on turn my hold mic on. off hold on say it say it again 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 turn my mic say it again. off say it again. No, no. R. Kelly there's, 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 R. Kelly wrote <laughs> You Are Not Alone joke, please. by Michael ja- for Michael Jackson he wrote saying. You Are Not Alone say it again what is it You Are uh, gosh Just get R. Out. Kelly wrote You Are Not Alone yeah for Michael Jackson okay about <laughs> A girl, he got pregnant right. as a teenager right. that ended up having a miscarriage. That's how much he missed kids. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the kid wasn't born. 
I laughed off reflex because you always hit. And I then did you notice I laughed? And that's it. <laughs> Wait, what? It was like a movie. I don't. Hold on. R. Kelly wrote, You Are Not Alone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you he got some chick pregnant. Yeah, double yeah. down on the bomb. Let's it's go. It's about the you know, <laughs> Hold on. Cut his mic off. It's cut, about cut, the cut, cut Alex's yeah. mic off. Cut Alex's mic Yo. You know what <laughs> No, here's why he wrote that song. He wrote that song to Mike, like, You're Not Alone. We both fuck kids. All right. We both in this together. <laughs> you on. are not alone. I got a girl pregnant. She's 16. She's getting a miscarriage. Hold on. Hold on. You probably did some shit that's similar. Oh, yeah. That nigga is so, crazy. So, so hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, hold on. <laughs> I'm, we're not accusing Mike of some new shit. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> we're not acknowledging the fact that a miscarriage happened and that was one less child. <laughs> For R. Kelly, that's not nobody's. That, that's what he wrote the song about. Nobody, no, 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 don't hold it in now. Don't hiss me. Don't hit me with the Joe Budden hiss. Because y'all not on my level of I joke. Because y'all not on my joke level. I gotta explain these fucking jokes. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> I got you. This week ain't the week, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker. Right. This motherfucker. Fuck up. I died hey, on that hell, bro. Hey. That, hey, this podcast hill, is about dying on that fucking nah, hill. Nah, no. Fuck that. <laughs> you don't fucking that. separate from this. This ain't flagrant one. This, this ain't personal you foul. You watch the documentary, bro. Who gives bro. a fuck? None yeah. of y'all should have watched the fucking documentary. Nah, fuck you don't. This ratings grab for a lifetime. This dude should have been in jail. Fuck y'all, your sheep. <laughs> nah, yeah, I gotta watch. Ah, right, you got that. I'll the first yeah, fucking yeah, time yeah, Lifetime got ratings take, ever. You'll take that. Doing fucking. I watched four minutes every bitch in front of four house plants. The same background. This low quality ass shit. The man should have been in jail. All y'all acting like this new. <laughs> <laughs> Your butt is mine. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. God damn it. I was waiting to get there. Shit. Back, son. You don't even know about my electric. My God. <laughs> That's my electric. My I did God, have to tell bro. him what the fuck you were talking about, but sure. Fuck, bro. I didn't get it. I was perfect, but y'all knew my intent. This the stick the intent was, was so, there. So it was like that. it was like when the plane be like boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, God. oh my oh, man. God, man! Y'all I mean, really? My, but, uh, <sighs> what I say, son? <laughs> no, it, it, bo yo, yeah, it bothered me. Kelly bro. got your tongue, bro. It what bothered me, bro. It bothered me, bro. Oh, Kelly got your tongue. Me, Come bro. on, bro. It's too many. There was too many young black girls. Oh, uh, we've bro. been like, knowing they're all black. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. Like we've been known and nobody's done shit. So like, be that's bothered that now. Me, bro. That's what we upset about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm All I know is when John I'm, I'm Ramsey, upset. When John Ramsey R. Kelly songs, got killed, you know, I had to watch fucking John and Ramsey fucking round the clock coverage about this one little white girl. Fam, you said for years. Oh no, no, for no, no, years, no, 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 bro. You said you saw that's, that sex tape. How many years ago, dog? When you no were point. a kid, you that's 32 no now. Fucking for a uh, decade, tape, you let these little the black girls you, suffer. The piss Hold on you tape for from Dave Hold Chappelle. On. What's the who's John Benet Ramsey? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? You man? know that. I don't know who John Benet Ramsey. You don't know who John Benet Ramsey is. That's a Prince song. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know who the fuck John Benet Ramsey is. Who is John Benet Ramsey? I think we're saying it wrong. I know Ramsey is. Right. No, it's no, John that's Benet. how you say it. Oh, John Benet. Yeah. Defensive Jaguars. Jaguars. No. <laughs> Come on, that's Jalen Ramsey, stupid. Who's John Benet Ramsey? Uh, all I'm saying is, if the little girls that he was raping, y'all not gonna tell me who John Benet Ramsey? They would have thrown. She was a little, she's she's a little years, beauty bro. queen girl. Got killed. She was like in those weird ass child beauty pageants. Yeah, this that's got, some weird shit. She Listen, got you want to have clock. some fucking energy for this? Let's shut Hold down on. all these little child beauty pageants. Yeah, we need that to shut shit that. creepy Why as fuck. Sexualizing kids. I don't like that. Put makeup on a fucking four year old. parading her out. That's why I don't like. There's that little. I mean, there's that little. There's this kid. He's like a spokesperson for like. Like some makeup company he's like this little kid who's like I don't know if he's gay or trans or some shit do you know what I'm talking about yeah he's like 16 year old boy who identifies as a girl or something like that and he's a spokesperson for this makeup company it's like why are you sexualizing teenagers that's all makeup is that's all pop culture is bro makeup is, is feminists say teenagers. makeup is empowering now yeah, all we do is sexualize teenagers. We sexualized Britney Spears when she was 16 years old. Oh, Yo, so okay. I want to get back to that. I want to get back to that. Because we sexualize teenagers all the fucking time. I want to get back to that because... It's all right for white little white girls to be sexualized oh, teenagers. Stop, what do you mean stop, stop, stop with stop, it? Stop, it's stop, fucking stop, facts. Stop, 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 stop. Ain't no stop it. It's we, all right for what? 
It's all yo, bro. No, 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 no. Make the guy? argument. That's a kid. Yeah. All right. I'm saying if one of these white girls, if one of these girls that R. Kelly touched. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. If I want to hear. One this. of these girls that R. Kelly touched was a little white girl. That nigga would have been in jail years ago. Facts. Years ago. Facts. Nobody gives a fuck about little black girls, especially in, Ch- in the hood, especially in Chicago. They get touched all the time. Let me, ask, get, let me ask y'all a question. Dog. Yo, we gonna have some real talk. All right, let's, let's have it. Who's the majority of R. Kelly fans? Black people, black Who's women. the majority going to R. Kelly's music? Black people and black so women. So why the fuck you care about white people with their kids? Handle that. Handle that. If y'all continue to support this guy that's a pedophile that y'all all know is a pedophile, that's the point why of you this. upset at white people that's for the point coming of this. down I'm on not white upset pedophiles? At white I'm not upset at white people. I'm saying nobody gives a fuck about black girls. That's what I'm saying. The only people that need to give a fuck in this situation are the people supporting R. Kelly. So you're saying only black people should care about black girls. You're saying, you're saying only white people care about white kids? No, I'm saying... If America. there were, if there was a white girl that was fucking, uh, that was being being raped, uh-huh. Cosby somebody raped did something. sixty eight of them before we gave a and fuck. that nigga's in jail. Took sixty eight. Sixty eight and fifty years. The nigga was all, my man had a three the decade head start on R. Kelly for most of that time. My but man but had. Up, a, but hold on, but back just just to argue, uh, just to get to the, this one point. So you're saying that if if a white girl was being raped, yes, right. Which we know that many white girls have been raped. That by person, R. Kelly. By oh, if oh, if if R. Kelly raped a white yes. girl, the white community would do something about it. Anybody would have done something. Hold on, but they would have plastered her face all over. You the You think black news, people would have done and it? And they would have had his house surrounded. Just curious. You think black people would have done something about it? What do you mean? Because the argument we're making right now is that the black community hasn't betrayed or gone back against R. Kelly because of what he did. I'm not talking about the black community. I'm just talking about how. Society treats black girls. So, That's all I'm talking about. So I'm not saying white, I'm not saying white people society? have fault. Everybody. So you're saying that the, cr- the criminal justice system, the fucking uh, sure, 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 how sure. how the, the, just how society so, so, puts sure, sure, sure. women in in especially young black women in inner cities in certain situations where the only means of desperation is that's not necessary. oh gosh okay. we have a show if, be professional we have a show all right. I'll I'll I'm say what I gotta say, bro. But, but, you, like, no, 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 but but you know, don't do that. My shit is this, yo. <sighs> now, n- whatever. So look, it's so fine. here's whatever. my question. So here's my question: Is this right? Here's my question. The argument that you're making, it seems, I don't want to put words in your mouth. The argument you're making is that if R. Kelly had raped a white girl, society would have turned against him and done something about it. Yes, that's correct. Right now. I'm saying something would have been done a long time ago. And, and is what who, I'm saying. who would have done it? Is that's my question for you? Because authorities, some, something would have happened. White and people that motherfucker would have been dealt with. White people. I'm not. I'm not mentioning. I'm not making it a white people thing. I'm saying. So why don't? I guess my question is. Okay, I, let's say white people didn't care when it was happening to black kids. I'm not saying it's a white people thing. So then I'm saying who, nobody cares about black girls. That's what I'm saying. Society as a whole cares about white little girls. So black girls and more. white people yeah. care about white girls more than than black and white people care about black girls. Yes. Yeah. So so black and white people were like, oh, those are black girls getting raped. Doesn't matter. And if it it's just no easy girl. to overlook. It's easy to fucking turn a blind eye to it. You're not going to turn a blind eye to somebody. If R. Kelly is as famous as he is, and they see a fucking blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl, be like, oh my God, this person was touched by this monster, this R&B person, whatever. He would, they would have his house surrounded by fucking dinner time. And that's just the fucking facts. Not one of these people, not one of these girls that he touched was a little white girl, and that's why he got away. That's a big reason of why he got away. There's other reasons, obviously, his popularity, his music, all this other shit, our fucking own uh, sense of forgiveness when it comes to people that are that are uh, in, in battle, especially people that are talented. There's a lot of fucking things that contributed to that. What I'm saying is a big part of that is the fact that it happens to little black girls. Look at OJ. They didn't let that shit Boom. go. There you go. He got off, and they... Stayed on his ass until they got him on something. For some first of all, horrible argument. <laughs> How? <laughs> because he got off after murdering two white people. Yeah, I know. He but, murdered I mean, no, two white people not, and then no, got off. But that's, that's what I'm saying. The worst he, argument you could make. No, but he had like tons of money. He had the top lawyers to get him. R. Off Kelly on has this. tons of money. And he then has the top lawyers. Yes, but then just admit it's a bad argument. We no, but then over. society continued to go after him until they got him on until something, on something. some bullshit. So they, they stole his own memorabilia and he tried to get it back, and that's what they got him on. Okay, so so who should have went after R. Kelly? Society as a whole. And so. There was a group of people that were going after OJ, right? Who was going after OJ for what he did? Anybody who was outraged White about- White people kind of went after OJ, nah, right? I, I wouldn't just say that. I would just say anybody uh, who was outraged about 
that killing. You don't think white people are more upset that OJ got off? I can't. White people are definitely I, I, more upset. Not, as, did you watch the OJ documentary? I'm not or no? a white person. I won't know. But did you, you watch the OJ documentary or no? It's fine if you didn't. I did. Okay, so maybe after watching, what was your perception and what was the it, perception it, it, of the it, director? It, the there, there was trial, a racial component to it. There right? was a racial component. And what yes. was that racial component? What did it show? No, in the trial, yes, it was white. And after and black. the trial, the elation that OJ got off. Yes, right? I understand. And who that. was elated more so? Black people were right. So that's that's what it became. He became a figurehead for all the horrible things well, for, that, and unfair things that happened to black people. Yeah. And it was like, all right, finally we got one. It doesn't matter if he actually did it or not because we've been persecuted so unfairly for all things that we didn't do. Yes. Now you guys know what it feels like. Yes. Right now, not saying this is right or wrong, but we understand the storytelling going on mm-hmm. in the documentary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. And. Let's say, and I'm not sure if this was the case, but let's say the white community stuck at it and they were like, nah, fuck it. We're getting this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Okay? The same energy can be kept with R. Kelly. He's out there raping black girls. The black community should be shutting that fucking shit down. A lot of a lot of people in the black community We're did. trying. But uh, there's, there's, there's so there's, many- There's people here's who the thing, stand the same, outside the of every thing concert. The same thing that happened with like, OJ, uh, the same thing done. that kept R. Kelly arrested. free for a long like, time. People boycott every single concert. It just, they don't have enough help. Be, not enough people care, so people are trying. That's the fact. Who's people? We've canceled R. Kelly a long time. Yeah. Like his, his music doesn't get played. We he, they boycott his, his music concert. still getting played. No, but I'm just saying he was just in Africa. We're saying not enough people care. That's the argument. That so who's got to care? What I'm saying is it's 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 different for black celebrities, especially with OJ and R. Kelly, because when it, it's not they're not just black celebrities. They're fucking famous people. They're rich people. And America is enthralled by fucking celebrity, period. After OJ got off, that motherfucker was making appearances. He had the fucking reality show that he was shopping around like people were still like he was still getting followed every single day by on camera and all this other shit. Mm-hmm. Same thing with R. Kelly. As soon as that motherfucker got off, he was doing all types of interviews. He was still performing everywhere he was still doing all that type of shit and that's what i'm saying and that's why it goes back to the original argument why i personally can't separate the art from the artist anymore when it comes to him because so many of them so much of the music that he created helped create this fucking impenetrable bubble that he's in where he, the motherfucker is still a free man mm-hmm. that's all i'm saying yeah no i just i just didn't understand the argument about like we would care if it was somebody else because there are white girls that get raped every single day and nobody gives a fuck. Of course. But. Every single day. There are white girls on college campuses that get raped every single fucking day and nobody gives a fuck. This mm-hmm. happens all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. And to just go, ah, oh, if it was a white girl, then we would care. It's just it, it's just unfair. So you mean, you mean to tell me if R. Kelly mm-hmm. battered or or put a... Uh, let me, let me get, think of a better example. I guess OJ OJ could be a, a decent example as far as like how, how how much coverage was surrounded being with Nicole Simpson even before they fucking he murdered well allegedly, allegedly murdered her or all this other shit you know what I mean there was still coverage around it because that's a black man and that's a white woman you know what I'm saying and we can't ignore that dynamic especially when you know like you said with the documentary it well, was not with the documentary with the uh, with the trial when the, with the racial tension going on where certain white people were upset certain black people were happy all this other shit it's hard to not see that if R Kelly did this to a white woman that more attention would be paid to it and something would have been done about it a long time ago and didn't have to come to this what 17 18 years ago later you know what I mean after the tape or after the trial sure yeah I've, yeah okay that's all I'm saying. It's just shocking to me that like, and it's just shocking to me that we are more, We essentially the argument is we are more obsessed with interracial relations than no, we are. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Wait for it, wait for it. That's all I'm saying. Wait for it. That we are more, it is big, an interracial relationship is more, bigger news than pedophilia. It's not what I'm saying at all. Not saying you're saying that, <laughs> but you're saying if it was interracial, mm. we'd be like, whoa, spotlight, bigger, spotlight, spotlight. It'd be a bigger no, deal. we just said something would have gotten done. It'd definitely be a bigger sooner. deal. Sooner. That's it's always been a big deal. It's always been something talked about in fucking, in pop culture, fucking Chappelle show, Boondocks, Mad yeah. TV. Oh, everybody knew about this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is? And, and, and I can admit that I ain't shit. Like, me, I, me too. I can sit here and be like, I ain't I shit. I was still jamming to R. Kelly yeah. music as, as of a year ago. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but knowing how much that contributed to, to the, the horrible shit that he's accused of doing, like, I can't in good conscience, like, support that shit. 
I can still jam the Michael Jackson songs. <laughs> Why can we? Do we need a documentary? Maybe. <laughs> That's the thing with documentaries. They'll make you feel whatever the fuck the way that you want. Sure. Maybe. And if there was a if there was a good documentary that came out with all those kids that Michael used to sleep with and they were saying. But a lot of those kids did come back and say, yeah, no, Mike never touched me. Mike never, never did this. Mike never them. did that. I think after he passed away, it'd been a lot easier for them to be like, hey. You're going to keep the same energy because they're going to come out. <laughs> they're going to come out. And if and they I'll, do, then I'll stop listening to Mike music. Uh, <laughs> but then you gonna be then you gonna be just as bad as all of us. What do you mean? You gonna stop listening? I want you back, bro. Nah, but it's like it's it in our legal system. It's innocent until proven guilty. And so I'm giving Mike the benefit of the doubt because okay, no, 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 no. Don't, accuser, don't use the oh, legal argument because no, I'm just saying his biggest accuser recounted. R. Kelly has never been acu- has never been convicted. So, but I mean, he's I saw the only reason why he wasn't convicted. What, is what evidence you see? I saw the evidence of him peeing on a girl. Like, I saw it. And the okay. only reason why he wasn't so. convicted is because the girl that got peed on refused to show up in court. That's the only reason why he wasn't convicted. And it. apparently in the documentary, she's still, like, close to that same girl to this day. She's still? Yeah, apparently she's, they, she's allegedly the trainer of, like, the other young girls that they bring in. So, like, she trains, like, the other young bitches. She's still part of the R. Kelly? Mm-hmm. Still down with that guys. sex cult, allegedly, yeah. Which is Sparkle's niece? Crazy who used to be her protege. Crazy. It's fucked up. Like if you if you didn't get a chance to see it, like it's it's it's. Oh, I'm watching it all tonight. It's legitimately it's legitimately fantastic television. Like not watching it in the in the bubble or anything like that. Yeah. It is engaging fucking television. What's what's true? What might have been embellished for the yeah. documentary is up for debate. But like, if you get a chance to watch it, watch that shit. <laughs> You okay, Akash? You still breathing? I just, it's just no You're fun. Right, dude. <laughs> I just like having fun. There was fun early on, and then the fun was gone, and then it became this big I race. Yeah, sometimes you got to talk about some shit. Sure, bro. It's a I podcast. just don't care it's to a have podcast, the big race bro. discussion. <laughs> I just don't care well, to do it. We t- we got we have the big politics discussion all the time. We have the big. We haven't really had the, the big top. None of us have sat here and talked about Trump and taken some big. No, not, we don't necessarily Trump. have to talk about Trump to talk about politics. There's definitely the politics. And I just know this here. argument in particular is incredibly circular. I hear this. This is why this argument sucks, is because it's feeling based and unprovable. It's, it's, uh, Alex, shut the fuck up, please. Jesus <laughs> also, Christ. the second you the, take the other side, you are you, you alt-right, no, 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 race, no, no, no. it's just, it's, and, and besides that, it's, you have zero empirical evidence that can prove your point besides a feeling that you have going through society as a black man. Mm. But that feeling cannot be bestowed on an Asian man, an Indian man, a Chinese man. You cannot transfer that feeling. So therefore, your argument is 100% right for you to because me. you feel yeah. it and 100% unrelatable to someone else because they cannot. So, and I'm, and this does not take away from your argument, no, but the reason why, the just argument, let me finish, the, the reason why we, the reason why these things become so difficult and like Akash said, boring to argue is because it's not like we can go to statistical evidence and bring up all these how many people how many famous people have done have raped a girl of a different gender and then we can look back and catalog we can go to statistics about police brutality that's mm-hmm. undeniable shit mm-hmm. it don't matter how fucking all right some motherfucker yeah. is i can bring this shit here and say explain this and that, why and, black people get first and, more that, than goes everybody to, and else. that goes to my point which i was trying to explain like it doesn't have to be oh i'm not Puerto Rican, I'm not Indian, I, I can't relate to that. Can but as Americans, as people, as human beings, we think, okay, there's Denied. right and there's wrong. It doesn't have yeah, to yeah, be, yeah. Again, like, I don't need to be fucking uh, Jewish to be like, yeah, the Holocaust was fucked up. Iggy, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're making two, these are these are two completely different things, and this is why this gets, this is why this gets convoluted. Can and I try to understand. give one example of, I think, is it no, no, no. It's, no, 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 it's, it's not about empirical okay. evidence or not. Maybe Effie, actually, you, you do a good job of explaining these things. How, what what is what is the difference? Fuck. Well, there's a microphone there, sir. Right there. <laughs> Repeat the question that you want to. Answer. So what we're trying to say is there's a difference in we're not talking about what is right or what isn't yeah, right. The, mm-hmm. the yeah. point doesn't seem to be about what we consider to be right or wrong in society. We're all in full <laughs> agreement that this is completely unacceptable. Yeah. Regardless of who it happens to be done to, be it a black girl or Absolutely. a white girl. I think what Andrew's arguing is a slightly different point, which is to say where you feel like society will will um, <clears throat> embrace or try to do something about whites over blacks. Mm-hmm. That feeling that you have 
can't be shared properly across to someone else. And okay. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, and I again, it doesn't mean it's not 100% yeah. right. You could be fully correct about that point. And you, your experiences in the world will demonstrate that. You would see police brutality, maybe over sexualization of children or black, mm. black people, especially. But that knowledge and that experience that you've had in your lifetime can't right, well, be bestowed upon uh, uh, okay, other people so to speaking, be able to see the world in that sort of lens as well. Speaking personally, and not speaking for like all black people. When we we could joke about the fucking R. Kelly show, oh, well, did you hear this just happened? And we've known this has been going on forever. But the only thing is, it's like, well, how, how has this been going on forever? What the fuck could we have done? Like, I, it's not saying like it's on me or it's on you to bring a nigga to justice. Like, I ain't, fuck, I'm not a fire marshal. I'm not going to run to his house and fucking, yeah. you know, I mean, arrest the nigga myself. I've never supported R. Kelly. But I've never bought any of his music. I've never, I, bought I don't it. listen to I, his, I listen his music. To his I don't music. do anything. I was. I listen to his music just like a bunch of us did, man. Yeah, like, I've and, never seen the sex tape, and I guess, uh, I, well, but that's fine. I'm not <laughs> judging. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying where where I'm coming from. But yeah. I could have probably done way more. That that wasn't. I guess the, what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to explain why those arguments tend to become difficult. I think you said it very eloquently. Is because they have to do with something that you know viscerally from your life yeah. that other people don't know from their lives, right? So there's certain things that Ed, that Eden is going to go through. There's certain things that Akash yeah. is going to go through in his life yeah. that he just cannot. We we just have to go. I take your word for it. You're 100 right. Yeah. Right. I mean that's that. It, it's but like, but on the same level, that's asking you to take my word for it, based on what I've gone through in my life, that it wouldn't be any different. And you're looking at me like that's crazy. There's no way. No, I mean if 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 it's you see what I'm saying, it's take it's word for if arguments. it's explained. If it's explained thoroughly, right. I'll be like, I, I see where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? And that's all we're asking. That's all I'm asking in this situation. When it came, when it comes to this this dude, you know, you just one example. The way you better come with fire. All right. So, in or the 80s, Eden. seriously, his mic's off if he doesn't come with fucking heat for the, cool. for the go, go, go. In the 80s, crack was demolishing the black community. Right. Right now, heroin and the opioids start to mess up in some wa- white communities. Example. And oh my God, it's war and dr- Like, they are really coming down. It's like doing something uh. about the opioid epidemic. When crack was demolishing the black nobody community, gave nobody gave a fuck. Yeah. You you said something earlier. You said uh, with the opioid ec- epidemic, they're coming down. Uh, there's a war on drugs, right? No, no, but just, the, just, just you said that. Those I, are your I words, said right? that. But and now, just out of curiosity, in American history, has there ever been a thing called the war on drugs? <laughs> yes. And, and that, what was that war on drugs meant to do? That was going after um, the big cocaine um, distributors down in like Mexico, Colombia and all that because there was a war going on down there and the reason why they actually came about, cared about that was uh, monetary reasons. Well, I mean, that's monetary reasons for everything, right? Like what happens is drug fatalities end up costing the government tons of money. That's and- not why they care. Come on, you you know what was going on down there though. Drug fatalities end up costing the government money. Cool. All right. People end up going into... Uh, drug facilities. The government has to spend tons of money on health care because of overdoses, et cetera. So they go, okay, we got to shut this drug shit down because mm-hmm. the, it, at the end of the day, it's all an economic thing. Absolutely. But to say that there was no war on drugs and there was no, we're going to yeah. get tough on crime <laughs> and wish. there's no other thing. It's, it's, it's not fair to say that because I'm they were saying they get weren't doing anything about like helping out our community. I mean, when Bill Clinton went into, if you really want to get into it, when Bill Clinton went into office, he was lobbied by the Black Caucus to make mm-hmm. more harsh drug crime laws in the black community, and then he did. And now he's being criticized for those exact drug laws because those exact drug laws are the ones that have people going to jail for and that's things. That's a big reason why people didn't get blind on Hillary either. And that is a big reason why. Mm-hmm. They, but to yeah. say that nothing was done is wrong because if you look at the Black Caucus, and what was the name of it? Uh, the guy's name, he's still a senator today. Uh, what's the name? Uh, God, I forget his name, but he was even on record. He's like, absolutely. We thought this was the best thing for, we thought this was the best thing for our community at the time. And we asked him, we lobbied him to do this for us and make these harsher, um, drug laws. So, so it could be, so it could help the situation. It ended up backfiring, but it's not like there wasn't an intent there. You know? Okay. So, so if you're saying because of the intent, because it, it's it didn't all intent, help, right? It it's didn't like, help. That's the thing. All. Like sometimes you think by, like, you know, now they're talking about, like 
rehabilitation for people who sure. are, Look, listen, have problems instead of we we might go. How do we solve traffic, right? And then we go. Let's raise the speed limit to ninety miles per hour. Mm-hmm. And the intent is really to like solve traffic and make sure people can get to work on time and not have two hour whatever. And then all of a sudden you might have a bunch of car accidents and like yeah. ten thousand people die. And then in retrospect, we look back at that person that made that decision to raise the speed limit like, you fucking monster. Why do you want to kill innocent mom and dads driving to work? And it's like, whoa, dude, you guys were asking me to find a solution for traffic. I was doing the best thing that I could. And we asked people, right? Like, it's easy in retrospect to look back and like call people pieces of shit. When I try to judge people in life by intent, not, you know, by what ends up by their intent in the situation. And I think R. Kelly intended to have sex with young women. Akash is that we can agree. Yeah. Nick Akash. Cannon had a good thing about this. What did he say? He said something along the lines of uh, the reason why he, and I guess this is before the documentary came out. He said something along the lines of, uh, you know, the reason why R. Kelly fucking touched or talked to you know, romanticized young women is because he couldn't read. And, you know, like, you know, he was illiterate. And if he's talking to a grown woman, like, yeah, the flash and the lifestyle and being like rich and famous, that's cool for a while. But then when you're talking to somebody who, can't read books or really fucking have an intellectual conversation they probably get disinterested and who else could you really have a intellectual conversation with than somebody who's a teenager nick cannon needs to never speak again (laughs) that is the stupidest fucking take i've ever heard in my entire life about why someone's a pedophile because they don't know how to read so they're gonna bang chicks that are 15 who guess what know how to read <laughs> also how often are you and your girl just hanging in bed reading out just loud to so, each other I don't is know that if common re- I don't practice know reading, Mike. hey babe you get the new twilight series why don't we read it out loud to each other as couples do together mm. no nick cannon shut the fuck up <laughs> pedophiles are pedophiles because they're born with something fucked up in yeah, their they're, brain they're, 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 or they're molested help. into it and that's what happens Anyway, we don't have to spend any more time on spend it. Spend enough time. But I am glad that we had this conversation. Yes. And I am glad that these things, and I know Akash, and I, I agree with Akash, I, I would like more levity to be had in these conversations, but I do think there are times when you need to kind of hash it out, and yeah. especially, especially us. This is a very rare environment. Like, even if you just look at the people in this room. It's a very diverse room. So And it's like, organically diverse. Yeah, it wasn't on. It wasn't by design. I'm not like, how do I find a Puerto Rican and a <laughs> Turkish guy and an Indian yeah. and a black and a uh, fucking Nicaraguan or whatever? Uh, I don't even I'm like saying that country. I've been calling you Mexican for a dude. month. You just told me you're Nicaraguan just now? I don't even like it because it, it's bro. just too close to the N-word, so we need another name for that country. <laughs> like, there's certain things that, because people listen to Brilliant Idiots trying to catch me say it. Like, I won't even say Arnold, whatever his last name is Arnold Schwarzenegger that's Schwarzenegger. too close bro that's too close bro I go Arnold that's Arnold, that's Arnold bro Arnold. That's Arnold. there's only one Arnold bro. I go Arnold Terminator that's as close <laughs> as I get to it but so yeah I mean that's the point that's, is we yeah. we can have these conversations because there's a level of trust we can have these conversations because the people that listen to this podcast understand there's a level of trust there's not like a malice there's not like a how do, I, I'm gonna ride for this side yeah. and try to win for my side and it's like On some level, and again, I don't want it to be a a lot, but on some level, we almost need to have these conversations because we are what everybody else should be aspiring to be. That's this is what that's honestly what this podcast was founded on originally. Yes, it's jokes. Yes, it's sports and all this other shit. But at the same time, it's like that's the ability to have these conversations. Like you can't, we can't, you can't have this on Twitter. You can't like talk you can't about it. You can't have it on this. CNN. You can't have, you it, can't on have CNN. it on Fox like, News. Like yeah. all they do is they bring some softball person up to make yep. look like an idiot, and then it's just what it is. Yeah. So, I'll sit and listen to you. You'll sit and listen to me. I'll Absolutely. Sit and listen to Akash. There's sit a level of respect. Yeah. And then like, and then it is what it is afterwards. And then we talk about whatever the fuck there is to talk about. Akash has been so upset this whole I know, podcast. I'm sorry. And you know what? I, I think out of payback, we're not going to talk about the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> not even a little bit we're going to talk about the I'm Cowboys today. today. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> all we're going to talk about is how great the Eagles are. Yo, how do you think about that? Big is that Dick a good Nick. idea? No, I'm fine with that. Big I, Dick Nick. What's up? I just, uh, I'm actually surprised y'all got somewhere. I was so sure this argument was going to go nowhere and I just threw the mic. I was like, we're just not going to get anywhere. This is a waste of everyone's time. I'll shut down real hard if I think an argument's not going anywhere, uh, I'm like, all yeah. right, well. I think that we got to the reason why it often doesn't go go somewhere. And yeah, yeah and, and it is tricky, man. You're right. And you know what? A lot of times it doesn't go anywhere and it's a fucking waste of time. I think today, I think we got a little understanding and maybe people are listening or like who are like, why don't people 
why don't my friends that aren't like me understand when yeah. I say this or disagree with that I say this? And it's just like, they just don't have all the information in your head. Yeah. And, and they we literally don't have don't all the have, information in our head. We yeah. don't have all the information. You haven't seen the doc. You've seen oh, some of it. I'm even talking about life information. Oh, like, yeah. That's what I'm I don't saying. know I'm what Kaz's life experience is. Your experience yeah. is your experience. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. like, but, but when we were yeah. just arguing, it's they were, I was like, this is, we're not going to, I know Andrew's not going to give in. I know Kaz is going to, and then to think about why that happened was cool. But before that, I was like, we're just, this is going to be 20 minutes. I mean, it's not an argument. It's just like, all right, I'll listen. I, I, I'll let Andrew Debate, talk. Debate, argument, whatever talk, word, whatever word like, it is. Yeah, just get it out. And, you know, eventually we all hear each other. It's like, all right, I know he's not going to give in. Alice is going to feel away. You're going to feel away. I'll feel away. And then we'll talk about sports afterwards. And then. No, I was impressed it got somewhere. Because again, I was like, here we go. You where you where did you go? You don't trust in the flip. My mom in, called. In this podcast, How's your mom? <laughs> she good. She'd be worrying about me Why she nonstop. Worrying? I don't know. She calls at midnight. I don't pick up. She freaks the fuck out. She same literally. My mom does the she, same thing. She did thing. this, dog. I fell asleep at 11 one my time. My mom don't be doing that. She. <laughs> <laughs> Gila be hitting me up. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to find some fucking Mediterranean food or some shit. Son, like, you know I got I'm like, this shit ain't like Gila's, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, I had a flight at 6 a.m., so I went to bed at like 11 that Wait, night. This morning? No, this is like a couple. This is when my mom called you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My yeah. mom called me at 11, 30, 12 o'clock, something like that. I don't pick up. She texts. I'm asleep. Yeah. Whatever. Four in the morning, there's a Facebook notification. I see on on her wall the next day. Has anyone spoken to Oscar? Oh my God. I've been trying to call him since since nine p.m. All of a sudden, it was nine p.m. Since nine p.m., she texts, she calls Andrew, she texts anybody that could get a hold of me. I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? You don't, she don't so when text? she called this time, I was like, let me take this, huh? She don't text. She texted, but I was asleep. Oh, God. So I fell asleep at 11. She called at 11.30, then texted, no answer, no answer, no answer. Freak the fuck out. See, this is why you got to tweet more, bro. My mom will look at my Twitter account. She hasn't heard from me in a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if I'm like, if I, it's been a while, and like maybe I'm just like chilling and tired, but like she sees me on Twitter, like, oh, okay, she, he's fine. I won't. Bro, I gotta do something. You gotta do something, yo. I gotta send her good night text or something. This is wild. <laughs> send her a smoke signal or some shit. I saw, <laughs> that's why I had him hand me the phone. I had two missed calls from her. I was like, oh boy, here we go. God damn. Here we go. And that's then what I, do you talk to her about? She, I literally, she just needs to know I'm alive, and then she's like, all right. Fine. How often in the past have you died? <laughs> Honestly, as a Hindu, like, there's as this? a Hindu, there's no telling. So <laughs> thousands. Oh, high brow joke. That was a high brow joke. I liked it. And by brow, a singular one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called high brow because we're the smartest, and we don't be having two of them shits. <laughs> oh god, let's talk okay. some playoffs. God damn it. Um, but your mom's okay. Everything's cool. She's good. Mom. She's good. Good. Shout out to Mama Singh. You know, it's funny that was there was a there was a Hurricane Sandy or whatever, not the bad Irene, the first one. They did nothing. Mm -hmm. I woke up literally. Lady Hurricane. <laughs> These fucking lady that's hurricanes a, coming. That's through why she didn't like, hurt nobody. <laughs> yeah, tell that to Katrina. <laughs> well, Katrina was a black woman. You knew that was gonna do damage. <laughs> you knew that she was gonna do damage. <laughs> As soon as I said it came through like her son cursed. What'd you say? What'd you say, Harold? <laughs> as soon as oh, that she was called Katrina, I said that's you better a vacuum fucking eight. Exactly. Listen, yo, Katrina. Grab you some beignets and uh, run, dog. That shit is a rap ski. You better hit up Dumont and get the fuck out. Bro, Katrina was yelling at a Jewish dude. <laughs> Levy. <laughs> you know that he ain't winning that one. You think Levy is going to beat Katrina? Pissed off ass Katrina? She came up there like, this ain't a negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is boy. fucking funny. Oh shit! Listen here, Levy. I got Salino and Barnes. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh okay. boy. Uh, but what happened? Hurricane Irene. My mom called me. I'm not even like I fell asleep again. Yeah. Thirty five times my mom called me. Voicemails of her crying. Jesus. Like crazy. Oh. Heartbreaking. But and then I was like, this this is sweet, but it's wild. But then there was a hurt. There was a tornado in Dallas. Yeah. For thirty minutes, my mom just wasn't picking up her phone. The fucking level of panic I felt was oh, crazy. I was just like, this, she not answering her phone. <laughs> she always answers her phone. See, that's, that's, uh. I was freaking the fuck out. So my mom does the same thing. And yeah, like, nobody it cares. gives me like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Tell me. All right, your mom does the same thing, but 
<laughs> no, I was trying to relate to you. On Twitter, no, still no, the, no. Level, the level of anxiety no. you feel because right, right. like when she doesn't answer, it's crazy. Now you're like, oh my god, you're not mom always to calls. Do? What are you doing? You ain't got no friends. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Where you going? Oh, so this man. is what it's like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like to have immigrant moms. <laughs> I have one. Well, there you go. Right? <laughs> She's a little different. <laughs> oh god. Funny. All right. Well, shit. That's good. I'm just uh, glad that life is good, man. Life is alright. Okay, let's take a break for a second to shout out a great friend of the show, Blue Chew. Blue Chew has been holding us down for months. Not only has it been holding us down, technically it's been holding us up. All right, it's been holding the entire asshole army up. If you guys don't know what Blue Chew is because you're a new listener, I'm more than happy to share with you. Blue Chew is going to give you the erection of your life. Okay, it's going to help you satisfy your wife, girlfriend, the girl that you brought home that night. If you want to have a good time and you want to be ready to go, let's say you came a little too quick. You don't want to embarrass yourself. You need to call in the reserves, but you don't got it like you did when you were a teenager. Blue chew. You chew up that tablet and bing, bang, boom. You're ready to give that girl a time of her life. Let's say you've been married for a while and you and your wife, you just want to try something new. Let's say you've had a girlfriend for a while and you and your girl, you want to try a little thing new. You want to have a little bit of fun. I know we've been doing it on this podcast for a while. All you got to do is chew the blue. That's it. It's not even that hard. Now, right now, we got a special deal for our listeners. If you visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code FLAGRANT, okay? All you do is pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E Chew.com. Promo code is FLAGRANT. You try it for free. Literally free, all right? Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice. I'm telling you guys, I mean, so many of you guys have already known, some of you guys have already reached out. I mean, it's amazing to see what we've been able to do in connection with this company and how much, you know, the asshole army has really been um, supportive of it. So thank you all so much for supporting us. But let me tell you guys something. If you're worried about time, the reason it's chewable is because it goes in your system twice as fast when you chew it. We get into the boners. Fast forward. You know we're not playing around. It's FDA approved, okay? It's the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, all right? So you know they work. This is not something we're just getting out of the bodega. This is the real deal prescribed stuff. You don't have to go to the doctor. Everything is done online. This is the future, okay? What, are you going to the bank to pay your light bill? It's not how it works anymore. You go online, you get that shoe, and you do what you got to do. All right, let's get back to the show. Oh, fuck. Big Dick Nick. Shout out to Big Dick Nick. All right, should we talk about Big Dick Nick? This motherfucker, man. They're going to... I really... I wouldn't bet on it, but I think they're going to beat the Saints. (laughs) Okay, so do you get rid of uh, Wentz? Yes. 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 You trade him for a boatload of picks. You're good. Dog. I mean, wow. You got it. You got it. Should the Giants get Wentz? But who, you got to give up a lot for him, though. What do you got to give up? Give up your first round pick this year. That's not enough. That's not enough. Jacksonville will give up two first round picks. No fucking problem. Happily. Happily. Because there's no quarterbacks coming out this year. You got to pay Blake Bortles. Wentz is still cheap for two more years. And by then, your Blake Bortles money is up, so you can afford to either extend Wentz or get somebody new. I mean, they won't do it, but like. They have to do it because that's the only. They're over the cap, Jacksonville, which is crazy. But Wentz is cheap as fuck, relatively yeah, speaking. Like, Go get him. I don't think the Eagles will do it, but like they're in such a fucking bind right now. They're gonna like, do it. It's the smart move. Yeah, it's like, what do you do? Like, you got this guy who's possibly about to go on another crazy playoff run. He's already won you a Super Bowl. You got this fucking quarterback, Carson Wentz, who's a stud quarterback but can't seem to stay healthy when you need him. Like, they're in such a catch-22. Like, nothing they do. Get rid of him. Nothing they you do get is going to be the way. You got to go with the W's, bro. Picks. Like, let's be honest, man. The kid just comes in and fucking balls. Uh, Drives you down the field. What fourth is and goal. Fourth and goal. That's a big dick throw, too. Did yep. you see that throw? He's yeah. a beast, dog. Yeah. He's big a beast. Dick throw. He's a bad boy, man. He's a bad boy. Him and what's his name together, that coach, it's like it's like damn near Belichick and Brady. Who, Doug Wrong. Peterson? Yes, yeah. Peterson and Foles together. I don't think it, Foles works anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Somehow yeah. that shit just works. Yeah. 
Maybe. He found his guy. Maybe. He found his uh, Sean Payton, probably. Found his perfect match. Yeah. <laughs> he found his perfect But match. Breeze was good in San Diego. Uh, Breeze Nick was very Foles, good. He went to fucking Mars when he met Nick Sean Foles Payton. is ready to retire. This is the luckiest fucking team on earth. Yes. Yeah. They fire their chip, their GM, stay with Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly sucks, so they get rid of Chip Kelly. The GM's still just floating around, no job. They get him back. Mm. Nick Foles, they ship the fuck off. Andy Reid, before they fired him, the last thing he did was convince Nick Foles to come out like, hey, don't retire, just come come to Philly, please. Yeah. So Nick Foles stays, you fire Andy Reid, you keep Nick, keep Nick Foles, and now you got a Super Bowl championship. And you might get another. And the fucking way they won today is so lucky. Okay. Fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? We're going to have to deal with Eagles fans for another couple weeks. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Okay. I um, want to know. We, let's talk about your your Cowboys. Your yeah. Cowboys victory. Yeah. I was okay. hype. I was hype as fuck. I don't often tweet about the Cowboys. I it tweeted. Hype. It was a hell of a game. It was a hell of a game. Shit. And Dak pulled up big. Fucking Dak, man. I big fucks balls. With Dak. That was a big balls run. That I last fucks with up. Dak. I've defended Dak to many people. You have. Still have to. You have. But I just like winners, man. Him and Nick Foles got the same thing. Nick Foles does it better, but like they just win. And how do you think that the uh, Cowboys will do next week? I don't. I, they got a shot. I think they'll win. I don't think they'll win, but they got a shot. I think they win. Really? I think I think, I think the Cowboys win next week. Why? I'd never go against defense and running in the playoffs. Defense Rams got Gurley. Rams have been playing shitty. Yeah, Rams haven't been playing too. well. Gurley's not been 100%. Gurley's injured. Goff has been off. Um, def- isn't as good as we thought. The uh, safest bet in, in playoff football is defense and running. And I'm on. I'm, I think the upset is Eagles Saints. I think the Eagles win. I don't know if the Cowboys. I think the Rams will get it together. Just my gut. Maybe it's a pessimist. Why does nobody believe in the Saints? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think the Eagles beat the Saints in New Orleans. That's a different. That's a different animal. It's just I don't know, man. I don't. They beat them by like forty I there the six Chargers weeks ago, but still hold different team. Patriots. I think the Chargers can beat the Patriots. I fucking hope they do. I think they're beating them. I think the Chargers. Philip Rivers a gamer boy. He is. is. He is. That motherfucker comes to play. <laughs> he don't play bro. around. He's old school. He's got, like, got fifteen kids, motherfucker. I don't yeah. Know you know. Bro. You know he still lives in San Diego and takes a fucking dope ass like bus. To LA every day. Yeah, because he got 15 kids. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's not moving them. <laughs> he takes a bus? San Diego yeah. to San Diego LA to in whatever the fuck the traffic is. Now he's got like a, a whatever it is, bus or whatever with like the fucking big leather recliner, giant TV so he can watch film. It's a setup. But. As he should. But. That's so dope to me. As he and he's like, I'm not raising my kids in fucking LA, LA. next to the Kardashians. Are you crazy? <laughs> These godless I ass people. This godless that. ass so, city. He's a fucking legend over there. He better. He, they're gonna build a statue of that motherfucker when it's all said and done. They we'll need see. to. In if San he wins Diego, one, he gotta win I one. Think, I don't think he needs to win one. He's the best. He's the best quarterback the Chargers have ever had. The best quarterback. He's there. He's probably the best play next to Junior Seau. The best player in that franchise in history. They're going to build a statue. Natron means? Yes, I do remember. Natron, Natron Bomb. I fucking love Natron. <laughs> he was good for like that's a, a couple ass, years, that's right? A good ass football name. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natron means. And yeah. just a massive running back, right? Yeah. He was like. Fat as fuck. Who else? Yeah. Ladainian Thomason another one. LT. Yeah, LT. You say, I think it's had, between LT and Phil Brees. They had Drew, uh, Drew Brees. They had Brees. That's they right. had Brees for a little bit. And I don't blame him for, for Like, how different really will that franchise be yeah. if they had Drew Brees? Well, Brees' shoulder was a, fucked. An embarrassment I know he broke the labrum. That guy the said, labrum, what's yeah. his name? Dr. James Anderson. That's the to this day the craziest surgery I've ever done. Like, when we opened up that shoulder, there was nothing left. It's a miracle he recovered. Hmm. God damn. And then wins a championship. And then wins a Super Bowl. And ho- I mean, I, I would love to see them win too. Huh? huh? And sets sets all these different records. Yeah. This would be, uh, all right, whatever. It'd be fine. Um, Colts. Dude, Andrew Luck. I like Andrew Luck, man. I like I like him, but I just don't think the biracial angel is going to let it happen, bro. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, bro. I can't wait. I, that's still my. <sighs> you know what would be epic? I would love to see them go all the way, bro. I want to see. I want to. What see. are the What are the most fun matchups you can think of? We got second round. So, what's the f- most fun championship and Super Bowl you can think of? All right, the, Start the, with the, NFC. Look at this. What's the most fun matchup here? Gosh, give me. It's, it, it, I want to Cowboys say, Saints. I think honestly, it's either Saints Rams, which would just be fun because it's offense, or Cowboys Eagles would be fun because we fucking hate NFC each other. East, yeah, that. Oh yeah, that'd be a fucking war. And then same kind of thing, Chargers. 
Chiefs in the championship would be fun as fuck. I want to see Mahomes go to. Would, would they go to um, Foxborough if they win, or they would go to Kansas City? Foxborough got home field. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Arrowhead is home field. Chiefs. It's, oh, okay. Chiefs are oh yeah. No, nah, I, I want to see. I want to see Tom Brady on the road in the playoffs. Hell yeah. I want to see that. So I want to see Tom Brady. I want to see the. I want to see the, the what is it the the pass against the future. Yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. the passing of the torch. I think yeah. the pa- I think the Patriots would win that, but I'm not sure. Maybe I mean, Away? I, I believe. No, I'm talking about. Oh, if you're, uh, if you're, I've if seen you're the Patriots. Andy Reid, possibly. Yeah, that's the thing. Andy Reid can't win the playoffs, and but and it's I just mad it just, high stakes for Mahomes. Like he's yes. young. He might be a gamer though, but yes, I just for me when I think about these things, especially if I don't have a team in it. It's just like what could create the best twenty four seven documentary. <laughs> like it's just they're just boxing matches to yeah. me. So like what what do I want to watch the week going well, you up look to at the it? Quarterbacks. I, exactly. Like yeah, Andrew Luck. No matter who the Chargers play, it doesn't matter. That whole there's no AFC. rivalry. Like wh- what is the big Chargers Charger rivalry? Yeah. Is it? Nah. It's not Cowboys. It's not Cowboys. Eagles. Eagles yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's not like okay. So we have to go. Yeah. Think about it like this. All the court. All the teams left have like Patriots, Chiefs. Franchise Cowboys Eagles. Let's be honest. Face of the league yeah. quarterbacks left. Oh, cool. You got Drew Brees. Yeah. You got Super Bowl MVP. You got the Cowboys, which is the Cowboys. Sure, 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 sure. You got Tom Brady, Philip Rivers, Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Luck. If you want to put Jared Goff in there, I don't know if you do, but Todd, Todd Gurley is probably one of the best. Let's say we're running the NFL. Football. Yeah. What do we want money wise? What we want is Patriots, Chiefs, Patriots, Chiefs, and we yeah. want those fucking. Chiefs. I don't know. I think I think the Colts have a great story. Andrew Luck couldn't fucking sure. throw a Nerf ball. Sure, sure, that's <laughs> fair. Yeah. That's fair. But the reality is, nobody gives a fuck who the Colts play, true. and nobody gives a fuck who the Chargers play. Unfortunately, yeah. it's true. Now, Cowboys. Now, here's where it get, gets interesting. No matter which teams make it out, it's interesting television. Mm-hmm. LA is kind of rallied around the Rams, so you're going to see all the celebrity subs at the games. You can kind of really sell true, it. True. I would love to see Cowboys Eagles just because it's fun and old school. But if it's Cowboys Saints, you could rally around Drew Brees. This is his last year of being an elite quarterback. Like, is he? They're going to go no, back. You could theoretically do the same thing for Rivers. Yeah, but but the team. No, it's like, yeah. where's this history? Yeah, of beef, right? Like, sell me on the drama. Sell yeah. me on what's going on. Honestly, like, that's why. That's why I want to see the Cowboys win. Fuck yeah! Um, like, the cow- like say what you want about the motherfucking Cowboys, those motherfuckers are drama. Every game, Cowboys Eagles it's is like, at, oh, is this gonna be the time be they at blow Texas it? Stadium? And again, bro, come on. Yeah, I don't think the Cowboys are beating the Eagles three times. Like, mm. oh, come and on. this is what I want to talk about: sports hate. Okay, because I'm <laughs> I'm big on sports hate. Like, yeah. I don't I hate teams almost as much as I love my favorite teams. Like, if you said right now the Eagles could win this Super Bowl and then the Cowboys will win next year, is that worth it to you? I'd be like, fam, I do not know. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I would just let the Cowboys not win. You know what I mean? If God was like, listen, you get the Cowboys Super Bowl next year, but this year you have to give it to the Eagles. I'd be like, bruh. I'll wait. <laughs> really? I really think I would. Wow. I really think I'd be like, I'll wait, man. Okay, how about this? Eagles win this year. Yeah. You win next year. Right. Or Eagles don't win this year. You never win again in your lifetime. Mm. 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 I think I would go then let the Eagles have. You have to, you have don't to. you want to? But that's how powerful my sports hate is. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, when yeah. I hated Kobe, I fucking hated that yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I hate the Eagles right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I'd be well, passionately. You have, you have chips under your belt already. You've experienced I Cowboys championship. Well, what sucks, kind of. You've experienced Cowboys and Mavericks. What kind of sucks that's is right. the Mavericks one. I really the Mavericks mm. one is beautiful. Mm. The Cowboys. What kind of sucks? First year I started watching football. They were like seven and nine. Then they went eleven and five. Then they just won Super Bowl. So I was like, "Yeah, it's just what happens." Oh, you were spoiled. I didn't. didn't I didn't, didn't get it. it. The Mavs championship, I got it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I seen everything. That's how I felt about like Yankees baseball. Yeah, like, it was oh, like, of just, course, there's a parade this year. Like I remember thinking, "Wait a minute, we don't have the day off for a parade." <laughs> yeah, like that's how spoiled. Uh, we really so a Cowboys Super Bowl now would mean it could mean more because I get it. Okay. Mm. Like my girl was watching the Eagles game. She's like, "If they don't make this." Fourth and goal. I was like, you have no. You just started watching when they won yeah, the Super shut Bowl. Up. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. don't know how hard this yeah, is. Shut yeah. your ass. Up. <laughs> yeah, shut your ass. Up. Shut your ass. Leave your leave. <laughs> like you know, I had enough. <laughs> I talk about sports hate. Like yeah, you be watching games with your girl, bro. Yeah, her dad came over. Eagles fan. So oh, he wanted to watch how the game. is that? <laughs> that sounds like the best time ever, fam. That doesn't sound. He, the thing that sucks is he hasn't talked shit about the Cowboys, so I can't 
go back. You know what I mean? We can't do that. He's just like, hey, the Cowboys won. I'm like, yeah. You want to be all nice about it? Yeah, sure. I mean, oh, I'm, he's like a real sweetheart. Yeah, I'm just, he's being he's being nice about the Cowboys. So I'm just I have to keep my Eagles hate on the inside. So you can't I, even yell at the. Fucking I also know they're gonna win. So it's like, what's the point of fucking celebrating? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. did anybody think they were gonna lose today at any point? No. Are no point Eagles? did I think they're gonna lose. Eagles. No, not at all. Well, as soon as he iced him, my her dad was like, "Yo, you know, it's a 43 yard field, it's a chip shot." I was like, "No." As soon as he iced him and he made that first one, I go, "I promise you, he misses his second one." And then as soon as he you kicked it, it, as soon as he kicked doink. it, I saw a veer left. I didn't think it was going to double, double doink, doink. But I saw a little veer left. I said, it's, he missed it. It's a wrap. I called it. it uh, it's over. As oh soon as he kicked gosh. it. How much fun is it thinking that you affected the universe? <laughs> like, With that isn't out? it great? Like, no, no, like, not even the timeout. Just as a fan watching where you like start sitting on your hands or do some oh, goofy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But, and it, it works. And yeah. you truly... For a second, you're like, I have to believe this. I got no choice. I did it. What if I fuck, you know what I mean? I did it. I won. I won the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's a great video of this. This uh, You pray to God like that shit is going to, like God cares more about your prayers than Nick Foles's, <laughs> who not only is playing the game, but he a better person than you. Yo, you know what I mean? big dick Nick, bro. Bruh. That dude probably just leans his chin on his big dick. <laughs> just, just, just rests his chin on his big ass dick. Like, and then just for your knees, like, yeah. no, I'll just so use wait, my dick. please, God, <laughs> can everything go my way again? That would be perfect. Thank you. So he doesn't much. even use pews when he does. This guy's down. unbelievable, man. He just runs every decision lays by his, on his wife. Own dick. You know, his wife is like his fucking consultant. Really? I don't say that, bro. Isn't that You're crazy? Give yourself an uh, unrealistic expectation. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's another thing. We could all tell everybody listening. You could tell your girl, like, if you help me win as much as Nick Foles, I would trust you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, you could just be like, hey, babe, when I listen to you, how many championships? <laughs> And then she'd be like, no, be like, well, if you don't shut your fucking ass up, <laughs> stopping me from winning championships. Two edged sword, though. Two edged sword, though. Because if your girl helps you win a What's championship, the she's never going to let you fucking forget this shit. On drip. Ever. Her, his Ever. wife's name is Mrs. Nick Foles. <laughs> That's his fucking wife. You need to know her first name? Huh? Tori Moore. Tori Moore. But you don't remember the time I helped you win the fucking Super Bowl, you asshole. Oh, huh? so she's gonna want her credit <laughs> all the time. She well, never. If I got her credit, she's gonna take the fucking credit. Yeah, I guess you're right. He be giving it to her. <laughs> he does. What does he say? He just says, you know, I talked about. I remember before the Rams game, right before they started all these wins, he was just like, you know, I wasn't really that excited about. It. I talked to my wife, and then she was like, blah blah blah, and we realized. It. And then he just same thing before coming back when he's about to retire. I talked to my wife, and blah blah blah. Every decision this guy runs by his wife, and this yes, this King. bitch stays giving yes. him good advice. Yes, yeah. Well, she's the one that's got to take care of him when he's got CTE and his brain is mush and he can't remember what he said three minutes. This ago. bitch stays giving him winning advice, bitch. Relax, bitch. Think about it. Stupid ass bitch. Fucking be quiet for a week. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you're upset because I'm excited because she be killing it. Yeah, yeah. Hope. <laughs> the fuck up for a week, bitch. Because the bitch is good. That's yeah, bitch, you can't take a vacation nowhere. Shut your phone off, bitch. Fuck. Go to Ramona Island. Somebody steal this bitch iPhone, please. <laughs> That's what you gotta do if you're a real. Who are they playing this week? Saints. If you're a real Saints, Saints fan, you gotta kidnap Nick Foles' wife. <laughs> That's the only way to change history. When you think about yeah, it, I don't, I don't Yo, trust the assholes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> don't fuck around and do it. Yo, real talk. If Nick don't wife, fuck around and do if, it. if Tory Moore Foles got kidnapped, would you be kind of proud of how the power of this podcast? And you'd be like, Yo, we did that shit. <laughs> be honest, though. I would only be proud if she lived. <laughs> I yeah. would feel bad if she No, died. it's just a one week. You ever seen the movie Celtic Pride? It's like that. Yes. You know I mean, you just take them, <laughs> I'd be hang out, that. give her some brownies. It's you know what I mean? That doesn't over. happen more often. Like, yeah. or they, Feed her some gumbo. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like, give this bit some jambalaya. Yeah. Crawfish. Yeah. I, maybe not kidnapping of families, but it's. I'm surprised that like athletes don't get like, not poisoned, but like. Oh, God. Food that's poisoning. Food poisoning, like the flu or like things like that. I've heard that, that happens. Well, allegedly, that's happen. what the flu game was for Michael Jordan. Nah, that motherfucker was out doing Crown cocaine Royal. all night. <laughs> you kidding me? He was doing cocaine and drinking all cocaine night long. Cocaine do that. It was lots of Crown Royal. It was Crown, it was Crown, Crown Royal, Royal, bro. Game. That dude was hung the fuck over. <laughs> that's why he was able to play. Like, you can function when you're hung over. Of course. Yeah. You just need some momentum. Cocaine, that's, a, that's too low of a. 
Dude, everybody was doing cocaine in the 80s in the NBA, man. In the 90s, too. That's why they're fist fighting every play. Did You You don't think there's a correlation between the fact that, like, Rudy Tomjanovich is getting his fucking jaw cracked every other week, and there's tons of cocaine being brought into the country? Like, yeah. Shouts to Narcos, bro. You made the NBA interesting. Michael Jordan was jumping from the fucking free throw line because he was on yak. That's why. It's like, oh, my God, what a gifted athlete. No. Oh. Thank you, Griselda, or whoever that <laughs> <laughs> fucking queen of cocaine is. Oh, man. Dude, that's what changed the game. Think about <sighs> it, man. <clears throat> Think about that shit. Rocks. That'd be the greatest. So can I watch Space Jam? Uh, or do <laughs> I mean, I I'm to... wearing a Space Jam hat. Yeah. You also wear a Hillman College sweatshirt. Mm. Proudly. Yeah. <laughs> he, he wears it pr- like you have clothing. I love a different world. What you want from me? You know what I mean? That's Bill Cosby shows. You're not supposed to support Bill Cosby. I, I can't support fucking Dwayne Wayne. Like, God damn, man. There's so many other people that. Dwayne and Whitley is the OG Ross and Rachel. That shit is a is beautiful. It? Yeah. Weren't they, thing. Get, weren't they together though? It was and on and off. Up, uh, Same uh, thing. Together broke up. Together broke gotcha. up. Dragged it on the whole series. That's what we want. We want people who aren't together to be together. Like Alex and Wheezy. That's exactly what I was going to say, dog. That's our Ross and Rachel. Fuck. How are you and Wheezy? Y'all, y'all on good terms? Cool. Why cool. you saying fuck you? Because don't start that narrative. Then they're going to tag her and tag me on shit. <laughs> Hate that shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, why is this guy so sensitive all the time? Speaking of tagging on Instagram, yeah, we go. Oh, oh yeah, you right. Assholes came through. Well, assholes came through last week for uh, who's that oh, bitch that we asked them to? Oh, Ray Lynn. Yeah, Ray Lynn. Ray Lynn. Did you? Is that that was the same? Definitely stripper, the girl. Did she reach girl, out right? to you? No, she didn't. Okay. <laughs> Which did confirms. You, did it. you see her work? <laughs> she did say, "Why is everybody spamming me?" You know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know why, bitch. It was like Andrew sent us. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is weird, right? Have you seen her work, or she was just chilling at the strip? Yeah, it's her work. She was. Oh, and then we spoke, and then she hit me up on something, but it was definitely her. I remember the way to hit you up on sided tattoo. I was she trying to at, fuck, or she trying to get I mean, you to taste? I assume, right? I got uh, some great tea for you. This is we should try this. <laughs> what is this it? tummy tea? Oh two no, weeks she's not and, one of those. She's not. No, she's a stripper. Stripper. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You saw her work. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. She's not on Instagram. She is strip. No, oh, she, okay. she literally strips clothes naked. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I need yeah. money, so I'm gonna take. I'm a strip. Off. Yeah, <laughs> so it was at. I remember the exact strip club. It was off of uh, Hollywood and um, Vine. I think I know what strip club you're talking yes, about. Yes, between Vine and whatever one is a little uh, west. Gosh, that's, uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? It seems like Did you, a, Hey, remember when you came over to my place and we played ping pong? Yes. When I was in LA? Yeah. There was a strip club half a block from there. How gay am I? <laughs> that you're telling me about a strip club and your references. Remember when you came over to my place and played ping pong? <laughs> That's all I can like, yeah, <laughs> This guy is the worst on the road, bro. I swear to God, man. I can't wait till Akash break up with his girl. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so he become fun on the road, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, Akash, there, you know, go. there we go. Oh, but yeah, but yo, she does not, she looks a lot different now in the face. She got work done. I don't know if it's work or makeup. I think it's just makeup. Uh, mm. But it's makeup and like filters and shit that truly like transforms. She was always a very pretty girl. Pretty girl. Very, very pretty, pretty girl. girl. Great boy. There they go. There we go. <laughs> hey, yo. There we go. Yo, look at dude behind us. He's like, bitch, you know you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, look, at, look at this dude looking at the cakes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Looking like Godfrey doing security. <laughs> So, uh, that's <laughs> like God for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else? What else, guys? What else shall we discuss today? Oh, man. <sighs> Tibbs. You know, man, we should have discussed early, man. actually. What's, What's up? Your little Duval interview. Man. Talk to uh, I had man. a great time down in the bottom. You guys should really listen to the, the, uh, I'm gonna actually. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I was brilliant definitely idiot. One. He is, uh, he's a fascinating dude, this Duval, man. He is a fucking fascinating dude. And I'm like, I've always recognized his talent and like going down to the, I went down to the Bahamas and I did an episode of Brilliant Idiots with Duval, but it's not a traditional episode. Like we're in a bunch of different areas and I just mic'd us up and we kind of like walked around and like went fucking jumping into like holes in the, in caves with water there. Like we just went to these different parts of the Bahamas. It was sick. And, uh, he just really just opened up and he has a great grasp on happiness and like what life is about. 
Mm-hmm. Like he's just a fucking truly brilliant human being, mm. truly brilliant human being. And everything he does is so meticulously calculated. His influence on the world and the way that he operates is just is just genius. And he really kind of expresses that. And you guys should check it out, man. I mean, like he gets into it very quick. I mean, he's somebody that I've always thought just had like shit figured out. He literally yeah, I mean, has always, life figured out. I've always respected the I said what I said comedian. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not the oh, you know what? A couple years ago, I said some things that may have hurt. No, like, yeah, I said what I said, and that's it. You know what I mean? And people try to, like, give him shit for it, and he doesn't back down. The motherfucker said he was going to make some songs, and he did, and the shit went number one. Well, he's always been making songs. He's always been making songs, but, like, he's, like, I remember him just being the fucking guy in the What's Up, What's Happening video with T.I. Yeah. Just jogging and shit. And, like, to see, like, I remember... He said something along the lines of when T.I. got locked up, he just has, he said something along the lines of uh, when my boy went in, I had to take over for him. And I'm like, take over what? What are you talking about? You're not you're not even doing shit. And then I started putting it all together. And I was like, oh, OK, this motherfucker is like he's like a self curating Type like the way that we're kind of like trying to self curate like our audience. He's Guys, already, he nailed that. He shit is years ago. Like first of all, he's been ahead of everybody in the game on, on every level of the game. Yeah. So the way that he does social media, the way he did like comedy skits, he was doing that before any of these Instagram comedians, any of that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. He was doing online comedy way before him. He had an online comedy mixtape with skits. Like he was doing R. Kelly shit way yeah. before fucking. Chappelle show all this stuff he was doing R. Kelly stuff hmm. so like the he's just been on it like even the way he operates with his social medias Snapchat is his reality show mm. like his life is a reality show that he curates right. on Snapchat Instagram is like highlights and kind of moments like nobody flexes like him mm. he doesn't flex with money he flexes like with experience yeah but most importantly it's like just his view on life is is fascinating like he has this he had a friend of his just pass away, right? Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, comedian Kool-Aid, mm-hmm. right? And his view on life, it was so apparent through that process. Because some people look at cancer and they're like, this is this horrendous, horrible thing that just takes away fucking life and just ruins everybody's life around you, right? And his view on life was, or cancer is, we all have cancer. We're born with cancer. Some of it takes 80 years to kill us so it takes 100 years to kill us right he goes but when kool-aid got cancer he interpreted it like a gift he's like that's god tapping you on the shoulder and go hey it's about to wrap up just letting you know Mm. so get what you want out of this Hmm. and just to have that perspective like to choose like if life is about joy he's seeing the joy in so many things that so many people cannot and he's like in my opinion, such a great role model because all these people who are outraged by everything and angry at everything and pissed off and they've spent their entire day just reading tweets and being angry. It's like you have one fucking life, idiot. Find, find joy. If you are less happy than let's say Duval's way of thinking or my way of thinking or you guys way of thinking, change your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Why would you spend the majority of your life not being happy? Right. It was just a really fucking great thing, and Alex, uh, Alex, Alex wasn't with me, but Alex and I. Uh, shout out to Matt, my boy Matt came out getting down. He that was also, a baby shower. Was it oh, worth it? It was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it worth missing out on life gems and the Bahamas? <laughs> was it? Yo, I was yeah. looking at Andrew's Instagram. Tight. <laughs> I was looking at it tight, and I wasn't even supposed to go. I was like, shit, I would have tagged along. That's a quick flight. That's what, two hours? I just despi- <laughs> No, but guys, this has been a sacred person. event for men for, for at least eight of years. <laughs> Sorry. There have been two Olympics since it started becoming a thing men have to come to. So my boy, my boy Matt, who shot views from assists in Europe with us, right? Who didn't get arrested, he came back, right? So <laughs> hey, he, he goes down, he flies down, right? Right? Mm. And we're on the flight down. I'm like, yo, man, thank you so much for stepping up last minute and doing this. You know what I mean? And uh, he's like, yeah, man, I just had to arrange a couple of things. You know, like, I've, you know, one of my kids lives in California. He was here visiting, so I had to leave a day early. But, you know, it's, it's all wow. good. Wow. And I was like, yeah, wow. wow. This, this dude sacrifice wants sacrifice it. So wow. Bad father to me. <laughs> wants it. You know what I mean? Oh, God. He's, he is a father. I'm <laughs> 
<laughs> uncle of the year over here. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yo, man, it was great. Go check it out, man. We're going to put it up on the YouTube. And um, nah, this was a crazy week, man. I actually had a fucking pretty crazy week. Yeah. I posted this clip of that, that school shooting joke that I had back in the day. Yeah. And uh, we had transcribed it and I put it up. And I basically did it in response to all the Louis C.K. hate. These mm-hmm. people are like, you can't make jokes about school shootings. And then I was like, there's funny jokes and unfunny jokes. Here's a funny joke about school shootings. Mm-hmm. And uh, Joe Rogan retweets it. And the power of Joe Rogan is apparent because that shit oh, went yeah. crazy, bro. We got like 200,000, over 200,000 views of that on Twitter. Just Twitter. Wow. Twitter. Like, what the fuck? So that shit goes crazy, right? Did he quote tweet or retweet? Just does a retweet, right? But people kept Even commenting better. me back with yeah. with with Joe, and I was like, "Oh, dude, shit! Did he retweet? Sonya, that's crazy." You, He's yeah. gonna see more videos. Reply all. That's what. It's only a matter of time for you on that podcast. If it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna let the powers that be make that happen. Like I believe it. It will happen organically. You know what I mean? But I also I also feel like the influence of that podcast. I feel like I. And I think this is evident of the retweet. Like his pan, his fan base would really fuck with me and what we're doing over here. Yeah. They just don't know about us entirely. I know there's crossover from the asshole mm-hmm. army and the you know Rogan podcast, but once they know about what we're doing on over here, I think it's going to be some major things happening for all of us. But um, but yeah, so I'm in the Bahamas and that's just rolling, and I'm like, should I drop the trailer for the special? Because I was going to drop it Sunday. Yeah, I was like, fuck it, shit is popping over here on my yeah. Twitter and Instagram. Like, yeah. let's go. So I dropped it. That shit gets two hundred thousand views between Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> That shit was crazy. We dropped the official trailer uh, on on um, on the YouTube today on the YouTube, and uh, then we're recording this Sunday night, by the way, everybody. Mm. And uh, so I'm very, I'm just stoked, man. Tomorrow we just the folks we, on the Discord was 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 they were they were hyped. they were hyped about it. It's hot, man. I, I it hopped hot. on the Discord this week. Shout out! To, I forgot the oh the, yeah, the, I heard Cass is all up in the Discord. Shout out. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna say it in my my name on it, but if you know, you know. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking some shit on there. Got him. <laughs> but uh, God, what the fuck is the guy's name? I don't want to f- fucking forget. Uh, um, whatever. I'll put it in the fucking in the thank yous or whatever. Oh, Bash Basha Basharnavaz. I don't know. He's the guy who created the Discord and for everybody on there. Right. And it's really dope. If you haven't gotten to it, man, uh, it's in the fucking link in the Patreon account. So um, go check that shit out and hop in and it's like live conversation like throughout the fucking day like all the sure, time these motherfuckers sure. are alive absolutely nonstop it's crazy so you no know, I love I, I gotta get up on there I've been mostly on the flagrant to Patreon page but uh yeah. but still it was just fucking it was just cool to see it happen and then Alex and I finished editing the first episode of Inside Jokes which drops tomorrow at two p.m. on the YouTube and. What we did is Akash is on it. There's a couple other comics on it as well. Ronnie Chang from The Daily Show and then Mike Feeney. But what we did was uh, we just used this. We just used the piece of the bit about um, my argument for female uh, uh, circumcision. Right. Why it's like yeah. feminist. Right. Right. I don't want to give away too much for it, but right. like <laughs> I think y'all will go check it out. Y'all, y'all, y'all fuck with it. But uh, there's a hilarious moment. <laughs> where fucking Mike Feeney is one of the comics, right? I'll just give you guys this. So I'm making an argument for female circumcision and why it's like, it's actually guys are doing it to make the woman feel good, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And I'm like, you know, so they could easily more access the vagina yes. and like blah, 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 blah. And then Mike Feeney goes, uh, <laughs> he's got me dead seriously. He goes, uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, they're doing that like, so the woman feels good, <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, he goes. I thought it was like a punishment, like if you stole an apple or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is the eighteen hundreds? <laughs> you stole an apple or something, bro? We've watched that clip like a thousand fucking times. It's just moving, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just excited for this week of 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 things that we're laying out, you know, and. Uh, over there at the YouTube, man, and just everything going on. I'm excited. Very, very, very excited. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to Tom Thibodeau. Oh, shit. Out of a job. <laughs> Tom got knocked, finally. After, after punching the Lakers by 20-something points, he got fired right Wait, after. they beat the Lakers? They beat the Lakers by 20-plus points. What's the reasoning for firing them? 
I don't know. Because he tears your fucking air- ACL, guaranteed. He never got along with the uh, the general manager. But then, no, the uh, the owners. I don't understand why they let him hang around for that long. After that Jimmy Butler trade, he should have been out. So do you think that they're Robert- going to try to lose? They said Thibodeau has no reason, though. Why? Layden's going to be remaining place Scott Layden? Former Knicks GM Scott Layden? Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Good luck, guys. Yeah, enjoy that shit, Minnesota. <laughs> but apparently Thibodeau's just oh, a Poor Minnesota. You got the fucking Vikings who never win, constantly losing the most heartbreaking fashion ever. You got the Wolves who are just never going to be good. And then you got fucking Minnesota. So the Twins. <laughs> the weather. Who gives a fuck about the Twins? That's not, I'm talking about sports right now, not baseball. <laughs> but then you got to deal with fucking 80 degrees below zero wind chill and all that stuff. God damn. Horrendous, dog. Yeah. I got, at least I got Prince. The had prints. I was so shocked that he was from there, dude. I could really? not believe I, it. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah. You, you've been to Minnesota before? You've been yeah, to Minnesota before. Several times. Yeah. And I went to the club yeah. where Purple Rain was filmed. How was it? I was supposed to go. I just went outside. <laughs> and Jeezy was performing there, and people literally thought I was checking in for like sound <laughs> check or whatever the fuck it was. Just let you right <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just walked right in uh, front of the line. you're supposed to be shit. here. <laughs> yeah. No, dude, it was too cold. I took an Uber to like the sites, and I made the Uber just wait outside, and I just took pics. Uh, damn. And then ref. Yo, I wanted to talk about a team that probably gets no love the Brooklyn Nets. Dude. When Carl Lentz, you weren't here, but when Carl Lentz was on the podcast, yeah. his college roommate is the, uh, I think, GM of the... Really? Yeah, what's his name? I don't remember. Anyway, he's like, he said it. He was like, dude, they're in amazing position from where they were. Yeah. They yeah, were, I mean, they've rebuilt to something from just ashes. And now they're in fucking playoff potential yeah. situations? They're seventh right now. Yeah, seventh like, right now. And that looks like a hard seven too. That's pretty. That's a pretty hard gap between. I mean, they're ninth tied and, for seven. Yeah, right? no. Game. I mean, as far as like the ninth, like that's you know seventeen. Right. Now it's a game seven. separating them. But yeah, I mean, whatever. They're in the talk. They could potentially be in the playoffs, and they gave away everything and got nothing. But they have picks. They they're actually they set up now, for the future. Now yeah. they are. Yeah. D'Angelo Russell's a, d- a d- good okay. player with a good contract. Jared Allen. Who's Dude. become like the new fucking Matumbo? Crazy, just blocking people like Crazy. not just people at the rim, like LeBron, Kawhi, Giannis, like Blake, Griffin, Blake, yeah, like superstars at the rim. You got fucking Spencer Dinwiddie. If dude that didn't get hurt that broke his leg earlier this year, I forgot his name. Not uh 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 Carice Carice Levert. Levert. If yeah, Carice yeah, Levert yeah. was wasn't injured, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, dude, that that Nets team is man. Yeah, that's, right. That's the one thing that scares me about uh, my, my tank, my tank for Zion campaign, bro. Which is, um, well, not the tank for Zion, but that's the one thing that scares me about uh, the Knicks free agency, as far as like KD and Kyrie. I think. Oh, you think teams they could just go to, go to Brooklyn? I think teams will go to Brooklyn, man. I don't. I don't. I mean, I can't fathom. I don't know, man. Like Brooklyn, Brooklyn looks. Brooklyn looks attractive. <laughs> I cannot fathom, and I want KD. I'll be. I know this is sad to say, but like, I don't want Kyrie. Really? I can't believe it. I don't want. I, I think he's so fun to watch, and I literally wish that his game was my game. But I don't think he helps you win as much as people assume. No, I, I think I honestly think it's a Brad Stevens thing. What do you mean? Like he's not giving him the rock enough? No, I just don't think. I just don't think Brad Stevens. Like we've said it before. I don't think Brad Stevens is a good superstar coach. You know sure, I mean? but he's like, a great point guard coach. Look what he did with Isaiah Thomas. It's like, why can you not get Kyrie? Also, Kyrie never won without LeBron. It's very exactly. True. That's yeah. my thing. Very I just true. I think he's a great number two. He just thinks he's a number one. If he would accept being Pippen, if he would accept being Joe Dumars, mm. if he would accept being— Oh, he's not going to have a choice in about a year. Jason Tatum is going to be oh, undoubtedly yeah. that guy. Yeah, it's creepy. He's undoubtedly going to be that guy. Like, and he probably yeah. want to get out of there. There's first, certain though. nights that he is that guy. Already? Is Hayward looking any better yet? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. He, he put up a good. donut, and then he put up a 35-point game after that, and mm. like he caught a couple dunks, but he's okay. But he's not playing as dog shit as he was playing in the beginning right. of the season. It, yeah. was bad. it might take a full year. Yeah. Absolutely. Dude, he fucked his shit up. I mean, look at Paul George, dude. Like, yeah, he hooping. George, he, yeah. He's hooping. So theoretically, yeah. if you it's, break a bone. That's Paul George's team now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you break a bone, it's supposed to come back stronger. That's what they say. Uh, I don't want to find out. Yeah, ligaments <laughs> not, but yeah. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Have you guys broken anything? Uh, I broke a finger. Collarbone. That's about it. <laughs> you broke your collarbone? Yeah, I was a kid, though. How? I don't even know. I was like, literally, uh, I was wrestling with my brother. That's what it was. So your brother broke your collarbone? Yeah. 
Damn, bro. Was this wrestling or some shit? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's six years older than me. I was in kindergarten, so I got the <laughs> fucking, just fucking body slam. Yeah, he got body. My brother used to Injuring choke slam us. My brother, you know what? WWE caused me a lot of pain. <laughs> My brother used to power bomb me. Hell yeah. <laughs> he fucked me up. <laughs> oh, dude, we did that to each other. Listen, did you have a childhood if you didn't like try out wrestling moves dude, on you your go brothers? to your parents' bed. Absolutely. Go to your parents' big ass. My brother like choke slammed me suplex. on some Put pillows on the floor. Four leg but <laughs> you, do you ever? My brother choke slammed me. There was some pillows laid on the floor, but he missed the pillows. Yep. <laughs> Bro, you just talk about yep. pain you did not expect. Yep. <laughs> Good God Almighty! <laughs> there were no words. It was one of those no words, and then just crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Shout out to uh, shout out to Paul George, bro. Paul George has been kicking ass, man. He really has, man. Yeah, People like, talking about him for MVP, bro. He's high key been the best player on that Thunder team. Like Russell mm-hmm. Westbrook, I didn't think it was possible for it, but he's kind of taking a back seat. Yo, like, sometimes you gotta take a back seat. That's what it is. What it is. Like his former uh, teammate. Do we believe in the Rockets yet? <laughs> um, Without the ski mask. <laughs> uh, do I believe in the Rockets? I believe in James Harden. Do you? Yes. I'm, I'm a believer. I can't call his game cute no more. <laughs> like that motherfucker. Did you see the Warriors game last week? Nah. No, nah, I did Dude, not. Game of the year. I don't know why it had Game of the stuff. fucking year, bro. Did you was see that? Was that the game that uh, Steph got called for the travel? No, 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 he no that was after that. That, 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 was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was different. But fucking Apparently, the Rockets kind of got hosed by some calls against the Warriors in that game and still won. Yeah, KD uh, saved the Rock clearly out of bounds. Like, it was his absurd. whole fucking body yeah, was out of bounds. He saves the ball, down. tips to, to Clay Thompson to Steph Curry. Steph Curry gets a wide open jump shot. They go up by two points, all right? James Harden comes down, ties it up. They get the ball back. He fucking gets fouled. They didn't call it. Hits a fucking falling step back three over the two best defenders, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. Nails it. Talks wild shit to Draymond. Calls him a motherfucker right in front of the TNT cameras. It was the best fucking whoever. Give those motherfuckers an Emmy for being right there at that exact moment as soon as he got up and called Draymond Green a motherfucker. And I think it was like, what was it, 45 point or 50 something? Point triple double again. I don't know if it was, I don't know if he got a triple double, but my God, James Harden's on the, some Kobe shit right now as far as how many points he's putting up. How long does this last? Man. Does this last all season? I don't know. It can't last all season. He's uh, he sucks. They can't. He sucks. He just sucks. You are a hater, bro. Soft ass game. I you hate are his, like, a hater, playing for bro. Fouls. It's just like it goes against everything that I grew up playing basketball with. Mm. Like we grew up playing and one. Mm-hmm. We didn't go up, like throw your arms in front and then first of all when you said and one you didn't even get the bucket if you, you call, have to foul. call foul. Even and if you call foul you don't get the bucket. There's no such thing as it was and one, one or the, the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, exactly. No, you call foul, bro. Perfect if the ball vernacular. goes in, it's like no, you call yeah, foul. Yeah, yeah, and call it early, don't call it late. Yeah. So it's like. He just does everything he stands for offensively. I respect how skilled he is, and I respect the intellect that it takes to like hack the game because yeah. he's hacked the game. Yeah, that's what, that's this what it feels a, like. And yeah. and that's what we're supposed to do, right? We're to take things to another level. You're supposed to hack it. You're supposed to, you know, like you're if you're an inmate, you got to figure out how to send messages to the other yeah. inmates, and then the corrections officers figure out how to stop you. I get it, but. It just sucks. It's like, I feel like I'm not even watching basketball. I love that last shot. I love the fact that it was yeah. in front of Draymond. When he, goes, like, when he goes nuts, and, and I agree with you 100%, man. Like, and when, when he's, he's going nuts, how? what is he really doing? He's Those step backs. He's on his little tippy toes like a ballerina. <laughs> he takes his little step back. He pulls it. He leaves it. Get out of here. <laughs> just get out of here. Like, even you know Steph's, gotta- game, Steph's game I've called soft, so I'm keeping it consistent. I'm not going to say Steph's game is not soft and what? I've called Steph game soft on this very podcast. But it's not it's not aesthetically pleasing. You don't like to watch Steph play? It's just soft. Okay. But <laughs> what, I don't think Steph is playing for the fouls. I think Steph is playing to get the tiniest separation so he could knock down a three in your mouth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Harden is playing for fouls. Even when he pulls up, he's playing for fouls. When he lands, he's falling on the ground. When he follows through, he's kicking his legs. The whole thing is about getting fouled. And it just sucks. It's like fouls are fouls are there. Fouls shouldn't even be part of the game, right? They're there to stop cheaters. You're essentially using fouls to cheat. Okay. 
Do you, see, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like when basketball first started, there was no such thing as a foul, and then people kept punching somebody when they shot. So they're like, okay, that's not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. I hear you. Uh. I was watching the game on like Hardwood Classics on the NBA TV the other day. Yeah. I think it was the finals. It was like it was it was Lakers Celtics. And the final score for Lakers Celtics in the finals. Yeah. With the Kobe Bryant and the big three on the Celtics. I think the final score <laughs> was like eighty two to like seventy nine and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like I like offense, bro. But are they the only team that produces offense? No. Like, KD scores Every without team. that foul shit. Every team. Every team can produce, right? Yeah. Every team. The Knicks can yeah. score over 100 points, right? And they're not just trying to get fucking fouled. Like, yeah. there's a there's a decision that he's making. And it's choppy, and it slows down the game, and it's like... It's uh, soft. It's... Why are your legs always spread open? Keep your <laughs> fucking legs closed, bro. I'm watching a basketball game, okay? <laughs> not a fucking symphony. Keep your fucking legs closed. You got these short-ass shorts. Every shot, you're ending it in, like, Jordan pose with uh, your legs wide open. I don't need to see it. <laughs> I don't need to see it, bro. Listen. It makes no sense. I root for him against the Warriors. The I do. The throw shit is, yeah. But just fucking. Basketball is the only sport where you can have your li- wrist broken in front of you and be talking shit to some. But like <laughs> this pose, <laughs> this like look at my engagement ring. Fuck you, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Suck my dick. Play some defense. <laughs> Ow. Yes. Yes. I got a three <laughs> and one, bitch. Oh, man. Yes, bitch. Yeah. Um, Imagine that dude. The guy was so straight, he didn't even follow through on his jumper. <laughs> He's like, nah, I shoot that shit like that, bro. <laughs> nah, I'll shoot like that? Nah, bro. I'll follow through? Nah. Nigga, that's gay. Come on, that's gay. You following through on your jumper, bro? Nah. I was talking about Sean Marion. I'll be shooting like, like a chest pass. Like, what's up? Like, <laughs> yeah, Sean Marion was just mad homophobic. Like, that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit like, I fuck out of here. I don't even hold balls. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, yo. I look crazy, bro. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. I do think that game did uh, steal the MVP race from Giannis, though. This, the MVP not going to be decided until March, I'm of telling course. you. Yo, of how, course. First of all, Giannis but is incredibly I do, impressive. I do I, believe every MVP like has that fucking signature moment in game yeah. where you're like, okay, that motherfucker's the MVP. Sure. I honestly like, don't think it comes until after the All-Star break. I, I, I oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. And, and Giannis is interesting, but it's just so sad that he's become a worse shooter. Like he's so unstoppable so on the fa- on the fast break. He's unstoppable going to the basket. I love his little euro step and what he's able to do. But big euro step. <laughs> yeah, he's big euro. You're right. You're right. But the guy has his shot has gotten worse. It's regressed. Yeah. I mean, I think in in most cases you see a player like Giannis and like the player development coach is like, all right, we got to round out his game. Yada yada yada. And what I think Giannis did was just like. I'm just going to take what I'm already good at and be gooder. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck all that expanding my game and range and shit. Like, I could get to the rim and dunk every time. I'm going to get to the rim and dunk every time or kick it out to some shooters. Like, nobody could stop me. I'm too long. You're going to either foul me or I'm just going to get here unimpeded to the rim and dunk on you or someone's going to get a wide open three. Fuck all that. Fuck all that step back threes and fadeaways. It's not needed for him. He's skinny Shaq, dog. He's skinny Shaq. He's absolutely skinny Shaq. Yeah. Yeah, He's he is. I'm just Shaq. dunking. I'm just fucking dunking. I don't know. I, he's he mad fun homophobic. To watch. It's he's fun to watch. Dunks. That's it. I'm dunking on you. <laughs> I'm putting it in the hole. That's it. That's the most that's the most homophobic basketball player right there. Dude, that is really funny, the idea. <laughs> he chucks the ball off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's really good. good. Shooting free throws, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you bouncing guys, the ball, like yeah, roll it. I just punch the ball <laughs> <laughs> like that. Fuck all that shit. Fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, is there anything else? We yeah, Jimmy Butler. On? Oh yeah, Jimmy Butler's in trouble in in <laughs> Philadelphia. Yo, is Jimmy Butler Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> what do you mean? You just keep having all these ugly ass breakups, and at a certain point, it's like. 
Maybe bitch, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, it's you, bitch. It's like Ariana Grande. How many good teams you gonna run? Yo, that bitch about to have it's bodies. Like, yo, maybe it's you, yeah. girl. Yep, real talk. <laughs> Thank like, you, yeah. next. No, bitch. Oh, no, no, next. <laughs> stay, on, stay by yourself yeah. for a little while. How many while. people you gonna kill? It's like, <laughs> she really goes after vulnerable-ass dudes and is like, oh, I'll get you there. It's like Jimmy <laughs> Butler. He goes after vulnerable teams <laughs> yo. with young stars. Dude, like, Jimmy Butler is Ariana Grande. <laughs> Hey, bro. That's so funny. Jimmy Butler is the Ariana Grande of basketball. Absolutely. Goes after vulnerable teams, destroys them, leaves them a shell of themselves. And it makes it look like it's their fault. And it's like, yes. And they victim blames. He's like, wow. oh, this team isn't, the coach isn't, isn't strategizing enough. It's their fault. Bitch, you just got here. You just got here. You just got here. How many here. championships have you won? You haven't won. How about you shut the fuck up and listen to the coach? Wow. Yeah, yelling at Brett Brown. For what? Oh, that motherfucker's taking all the losing. All the, he's done with all of the process and got them to where they are now, to where they are an attractive. Do you think team he's a good coach? For you to, I think he's a good coach. I, I'm not. I, 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 I defer to y'all in a lot of basketball, but I do know he got thoroughly out coaching against the Celtics in the playoffs last year. Well, well I mean, Brad Stevens thoroughly out. That dork a lot of is people. gonna figure out. That, <laughs> that fucking is that nerd. your problem with Brad Stevens? Yeah, he's a fucking dork, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. I got a little aggravated, but he's a fucking nerd. That guy. Don't you see him? Like that's the like, root of it. Time I don't want to. Here's our plan. I knew that's what it was. Hold on. I knew that's what it was. I've, I've calculated the uh, exact uh, d- 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 diameter of the wingspan of Giannis. And the best way that we can score against him. Hold on one second. Uh, the best way that we can possibly score against him. We just set this pick right here on the baseline. And Kyrie, if you run around them and just give it to the Dominican and he'll hit a, uh, what is his name? It uh, doesn't matter really. And then he'll I'll just hover. hit a nice corner three. Okay. Yeah, you can't have a basketball coach look like Mr. Bean. That shit don't bro. work. Bro. That shit don't exactly. work. Exactly. He's Mr. Mr. Bean without the expressions. He's like <laughs> just the worst part of Mr. Bean, right? At least Mr. Oh, Bean, man. like Mr. Bean let you know how he was feeling in that moment, right? <laughs> Brad Stevens, he's got the personality of a fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck Brad oh, Stevens. Man. Oh, Ariana Grande stole my fucking funny in that last one right there. Bro. Yeah. Look at that guy. Fucking He's probably cool dude. as shit. I'm just giving him a hard time. Nah, dude, nah, nah, like nah. Yeah, like, yeah. You, got, you got to pull it right Guy, back. I in. got a great app idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got a great app idea. Everybody, hold can on, show the smiling picture. Oh boy. God damn. Wow. One of my coworkers looks just like Brad Stevens. <laughs> That's insulting. It is. <laughs> it was meant to be. The uh, motherfucker loves plays. You know, he's just drawing up plays all <laughs> fucking day, right? You know, that's what he's doing. He's got napkins and pens. <laughs> that's a great photo. That's the most emotion he's ever had. And that's when he, like, lost a play that he had written earlier. That's when he was coaching Butler. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, he still got that wedding ring on, or my man is divorced now? Trust me. You don't go to Boston and divorce your wife. <laughs> okay? If there's I'm one city right that will stay, you can can man, you can consistently have a marriage <laughs> go through your uh, oh increase God. in fame. It's definitely awesome. Uh, it's so funny. Wow. I'm oh, that is that him with some head. facial yeah. hair? Yeah, my man's beard look, oh, mustache shit. looks like yours, oh, dog. Yo, he got Andrew that Andrew Schultz. <laughs> Come on, oh. son. Come on, son. <laughs> Brad got Stevens got that Andrew, Andrew on, show. Son, I got dog. more facial hair. Nah, man, that's son. you, that's bro. Disrespectful, Yo, put son. a side by side up with him. Like he's oh, 13, shit. bro. Stop playing. Oh, so he was also trying to cover up her. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> Probably was, son. Yo, at some point, yeah, we need to get a side by side of them edited, <laughs> ready to go was, with the mustache. Find that, but yo, <laughs> shit, dog. It's nah, like you have nah, a dorky nah, little brother. A nah, 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 so wait playing, a minute. Why am I next to Aziz in that picture? <laughs> they they that thought was that was me. <laughs> that was like thought that was you. No, You're not somebody... gonna find any pictures of me with uh with with facial hair. I just grand, started bro. growing it. I just started growing it. Yeah, I go to the That's grand. barely it, and I'm handsome. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> I'm handsome. Yo, y'all look, y'all yo, look yeah, hella look similar, dog. Man, get out of here, yo. That's why he doesn't like him. Holy shit! That's why he doesn't like him. Brad Stevens almost got waves in this picture <laughs> bro oh. he definitely wore a durag this week hold on who's that motherfucker oh damn why they that ain't me out, bro <laughs> yo joe button oh, cut you out that man. picture bro you look i don't know <laughs> Fuck, you what's that 
Tariq no, Rashid. No, we're not even going to say the name. Yeah, please. Oh. God damn. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, whatever. It's not going to. Uh, anyway, yeah, Jimmy Butler, he's definitely the. Who's that? That's just me and Pete. Don't worry about that. Hey. 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 <laughs> See you, boy. <laughs> she getty images off. Yo, man. I was that young with that haircut. I Yo, you look like a fucking hair. dork in that picture, though, for real. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the so we're going to look at pictures of me? Is that yeah, what we're doing? Killer. <laughs> killer. Guys, yeah. come on, man. Do we got anything else tonight? That's it, man. Yeah. All right, God let's wrap damn. it up, man. Thank y'all so much for listening to the podcast. <laughs> you know how it is. You see us, uh, the squad, over on the Patreon this Friday. Yeah. We're dropping. So uh, we'll see y'all over there. We've been getting it a little bit loose over there. But, uh, yeah, it's been it's been. Yo, I hope y'all like the long episodes, man. We've been doing like two and a half, three uh, hour episodes yeah, on that, that Patreon. It was last week's was fucking wild, but that shit yeah. was a lot of fun, it's man. good, man. It's and it was needed. So we will see y'all Friday. And uh, for those of you uh, who have not subscribed yet, we'll see you next Tuesday, man. Keep it tight. This has been Flagrant 2. Peace.